Hello everyone, welcome back to Drop Frames. More coverage here of E3 2021. We're getting started with the PC Gamer PC Gaming Show. Uh, Day 9 will once again be resuming his hosting uh, duties here. Uh, I think Frankie will also be there. They, had a, they added a third host to the mix, but I'm not sure what? who it was. There's another How host dare they? that's joining them, and I don't know the name. Uh, Are they trying to dilute my day nine time? Like, I, guess. <laughs> I guess. How dare they? Oh, um, uh, is it is it Mika Burton? Mike? I think it's Mika Burton. I think that's how you pronounce Mika? it. Mika? 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 Oh, that was Mika. Mika? Mika? I'm not Mika. sure. Mor Morka. Morka. Yeah. Morka. Uh, they're currently not playing any audio on, yeah, the, I was just, uh, on the show. I had to keep going back to the Twitch stream and be like, okay, my audio is working. They're not playing any sort of sound or anything. God, if that's not the theme of E3 uh, <laughs> this year. Dan, we, we haven't heard from you. How do you feel about uh, music not being there on anything at all? I hope after this awkward, awkward E3 that people are going to be so like, like, go th they're going to be like, we can't do this again. We <laughs> need to figure out something. Because this is not working. This is awkward. It's weird. I mean, this is just sort of a like stopgap to not dealing with the actual problem. Yeah. Um. So let's hope. Let's hope we don't have to go through this again. But we might have to. But it, ha it has. It's made things quite awkward for some trailers where it's just like you can tell there's supposed to be music there to amplify the mood, and there's just nothing. Yeah. It's, it's very strange. And in, in a lot of ways, the the group that would do that for us on a political uh basis or would do that for the industry i should stop saying us uh would actually be the esa right like they're the lobbying group when it comes to video games uh esa the the group behind e3 but in a lot of ways i think they've kind of shown their hand in terms of what they're trying to do because you can't even co-stream slash E3 unless you've been given exclusive uh, <laughs> rights to do so. Uh, so, yeah, I, you know, and it, 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 when you think about who's on the ESA panel or on the board there, it's the head of a lot of major video game companies. So, fuck, twice, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, what like, do we do? <laughs> Do we fight? Yeah. No, we cower and, and capitulate. Let's do that. Yeah. Yes. Cower, capitulate. Yes. Yeah. Please, Mr. Like ESA, let point. me stream your little E3. <laughs> please, can I please stream it? Yeah. So I don't like, I don't know. I don't know. There's, I, I think, I think one thing that obviously uh, is, is being said, um, in a lot of places uh right now my chat but streamers have a lot of money and content creators have a lot of money that could be potentially thrown around when it comes to the aspect of like unionizing and you know doing all that shit mm -hmm. but one thing streamers are really bad at is actually coordinating with other streamers <laughs> so like True. going down wait, wait, that wait, wait. going down that path that? would be very hard um but i don't think we can do that yeah no. yeah Anyways, we're getting started here. Let's move on from this topic very quickly. Um, what is this? Oh, they have closed captioning. That's awesome. I have no sound stick. I, I do as don't as well. Oh, nice. Sean. Oh, nice. He's flying in a 3080. In space. Can I move this? I have no sound. I have no sound all. as well. I think they forgot Same to unmute. No. Oh, oh no. boy. Oh, PC gamer. Oh, boy. Oh no. Oh boy. They're oh my god, they're ruining this great opening. This fucking I know, it looks opening. great. I'm half expecting my ears to be destroyed here oh, any second. There's sound now. What? Really? On the PC gamer stream there's sound. That's where I'm watching. Oh. There's no sound. Should I try to restart it? Reload it? I got I got nothing. This looks so good too. Oh, the Twitch gaming stream has sound. Uh, that oh. stream does. We're bailing out of this one. Oh, wait, no, we're bailing out of this one. Wait, what? Okay, I'm just going to Twitch game. 
That is hilarious, though. Hey, it happens, you know? Uh, it is so go. good to be back, gang. And this year, we're in space. Aye, aye, Captain. Happy to be remote. Chaos. Board, <laughs> well, I'm so glad you were able to finance this year's PC gaming show by, you know, selling all those black market graphics PC cards. PC gaming show. Wearing. Or PC gamer figured it out. Oh, uh, right. Yes, a crime with uh, absolutely no real here, world fine. consequences. Hey, Frankie, wait a minute. Is that a 65 ton catapult mech model CPLTC1 as featured in Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries? Sean, oh, I God. always knew you had immaculate taste. It most certainly is. <laughs> the spot Love the production value. This year's significantly more yeah. weaponized PC gaming show to go off without a hitch. <laughs> Which reminds me, Deadbot, can you run a quick hitch scam? Yes, yeah, Sean. Of course, Sean. Running hitch scam. Oh, 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 and I also want to warmly welcome That's someone new to the crew. Mika Burton, welcome. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy to be here and look forward to bringing all of you fresh new PC Devil games Barbara and hardware. Otter. Hitch scan yep. complete. Zero hitches found presently or in 13,908,665 possible futures. Hooray! Oh, yeah! <laughs> well, Frankie, Debbot's gonna send you the coordinates for your first target. Uh, oh now. man! Your targets might be exclusive interviews, trailer premieres, or any number of amazing is it like new kind computer of, games to beam down to the, is the fine video kind of scratchy. Is, is that an effect? Now this okay. is gonna continue until all the targets are acquired and our mission is completed smoothly and without is, a hitch. Isn't that right, Debbot? Yeah. Yes. No hitch is located, Sean. Not a single hitch in sight. But first, let's teleport down to the stage to check in on E3 happenings. The only reason we're allowed to legally be back on Earth. Oh, oh, wow. planet Oh, they're Earth. at the E3. Oh, great to be back, right? Am what? I right? One of my favorite planets in the whole galaxy. They're in the E3 yeah, studio right. slash E3 and studio recording this. And thank God that teleporter this is... was conveniently built just out of it's frame of weird camera. Here. Mika, are you ready? I'm ready. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the PC Gaming Show 2021. It feels great to be back on a live stage once again. Over the next 90 minutes, we're going to bring you a showcase of some of the most exciting upcoming PC titles with world premieres and exclusive interviews. Tell us, and we're called premieres. Of new trailers. Sean wasn't six, four, for you guys. The same size. Later in the show, we are going to tell you how to win a custom <clears throat> Mech Warrior 5 themed PC powered by Intel. So mm -hmm. you're going to want to stick around for that. Now. Make sure to keep out a special look for a special promo code throughout the show from Humble Bundle, <laughs> during which you can get a ticket to get Civilization VI Platinum Edition for just 10 bucks. But right now, hey, we're cool. going to kick things off with Nautica Blade Point, probably the most original entry we're in the Battle Royale the genre this code. year. Promo code is PC oh. Gamer. Let's Sorry about go. that. Let's <laughs> go! <laughs> oh, this is that, like, Melee BR, right? Yeah, there oh, was wow, something. You didn't pronounce it Naraka. There was something shown on this today, or announced, or something. Yeah. Oh, well, that, girl. that person <laughs> fucking sucks. I was gonna, <laughs> gonna say like that dude is slicing up a villager or something. Like, she was just going out for a coffee and. <laughs> He was repeating the Starbucks order ahead, like, right, soy latte, double skinny. <laughs> oh, fuck! Ow, ow, ow! Weird. God, how do we feel about this game? I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm sure many of you guys played it. Like, Yeah, if those numbers are real. What is that? It's really cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Those are All some right. uh, outfits. You are Naming chains. Titty so. anime girls for the win. And I am the new cloud based step by. I am streaming from GeForce Now, a Bing's cloud gaming service. Oh, right, because this is not an AMD thing anymore. This is an Intel thing, so they can talk about NVIDIA. and the Epic Game Store. Coming up, Dying Light 2 and Orcs Must Die 3. But first, a trailer for Humble Games, Dodgeball Academia. 
And be sure to check out GeForce Now, currently available for PC, Mac, Shield, Android, Chrome It's eForce Now. Visit Dot GeForce Now. M. To learn more. Shield? Do yeah. people still have those? Oh, yeah. Okay. World premiere. Finally, I've made it. My time I'm is turn up now. A bit, Jeff. I will become the best player this school has ever seen. Dodgeball Academia, here I come. They say how long this is going to be? Anywhere? Ninety minutes? Oh, I am very excited. My food's about to be here. <laughs> the best feeling. I had a cliff bar. <laughs> I have uh what did I order? Spaghetti bolognese, an extra roll, and some hot cheesy garlic bread. Mm. Mm. Make sure to check out Dodgeball Academia out soon All from Humble Games. Oh, that was sweet. Don't you agree, Devbot? Sure. Whatever you say, Sean. I agree with whatever you say. I'm sensing a little bit of resentment there, buddy. Has some rusted your ports? Nothing. I am happy to play second fiddle to a captain as charming and handsome as you. I have also definitely not dedicated multiple cores to computing revenge plans in a range of lethalities. Great! <laughs> New target acquired, Cap. It looks like Chivalry 2 with a special word from Steve Piggott, CEO and creative director of Torn Banner Studios. Hey guys, Steve Piggott, founder of Torn Banner Studios and creative director on Chivalry 2, which just launched five days ago. I'm so happy to be here at the PC Gaming Show. Chivalry 2, if you don't know, is a first person slasher, which is like a first person shooter, except instead of guns and grenades, you've got swords, battle axes, longbows, and players are fighting it out on these huge 64 player battlefields. It's all about creating those epic sword fighting duels that you see in medieval Hollywood movies, and also that huge clash, the Battle of the Bastards kind of chaos and carnage. Someone in so my chat, support plan is whenever this look game like is shown, constantly says and, LMAO and, and other Mordhau copier. I love it, because he gets people riled up every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best troll. It's so good. It's the best troll. It's so good. Uh, in the upcoming update where, you know, you're going to get a bit more refined medieval armors and refined uh, atmospheres that you can then like tarnish it and smear blood all over. But yeah, he needs to just start screaming. We really want to take players into different experiences and make each of our maps its own game mode and make it something that, you know, med medieval army would actually do when they go into a space. And, you know, when you come across these pristine gardens and, and this beautiful castle, you get to tear it all down and, and cause, uh, you know, it's a canvas for your destruction. Have they talked about anything like post launch yet for this game? I think they're doing a, a, a uh, Final Fantasy Origin crossover. It's the game that <laughs> got us onto the chaos. scene and started nice. the company. Can't wait. And it's the game that's going to take us so much further. I think so with the post launch plan for Chivalry 2, the game at launch is a foundation. It's intentionally been built to be extended. There's a roadmap just thing. out and okay. done. We're going to support it a lot go. with post launch content. Oh. Gallancourt is the first TO map that's they coming obviously up watch post launch. Oh, Gallancourt is going to take us to the high medieval times or the late medieval times. It really captures the Agathian Ooh. ideals of being this like noble, rich, wealthy place where the prosperous live. You're going to feel like you're sieging the Tower of London if it was on a port where ships could dock into. You'll Dang. also be blowing up a couple ships, which is fun. We've got a ton of weapons coming in at launch, but there'll be more and more added to it post launch as well. A new fighting style is really going to change up the experience Whoa. and change how you have to fight everyone. Pulse launch content is something that we're going to be working Where's on it? for a long time. The game is really going to at least double in size for free. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's awesome. I love dedicated devs like that. Next up, we have an exciting look. The is already like fun. Two, it's already a fun game. Stick around yeah. to find out how it's you awesome could win a custom Mech Warrior PC from our friends at Intel. Uh, 
Oh, we, we saw this trailer somewhere. So I remember the no, no regrets comment. Oh, this is the raw men game. That's what this uh, is. Oh, yes. It was so funny. That name, though. This is a really busy game. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is a song that made, that was in like, Kill Bill. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. just brought up a really good point imagine this without music yep <laughs> yep mm-hmm there'll just be a lot of like weird food noises hi my name is Piotr Szymanek I'm narrative director in Dying Light 2 oh. Stay Human today especially for the viewers of the PC gaming show I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the Dying Light universe so, stay tuned. What? Every Ooh. tragedy begins somewhere. This one started with a virus Still that tuned. escaped from Haram. I think we, okay, I think we can we stop staying tuned. He's going to tell us about it now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it In 10 seconds from now, I will tell you. <laughs> including the city where Dying Light 2 takes place. Remember January 6, 2025. That day, later known as Black Monday, the military ordered chemicals to be dropped on the city. It was a mistake, a huge mistake. The chemicals mixed with water penetrated the soil, killing plants, turning most people I think into as an industry, we need monsters. to stop saying developer Don't interviews and say cocking it up though. whenever this happens. like half alive, mm -hmm. suffering people who attack everything that lives <laughs> as a result of their it's rare when a rage. when a when a those who survive a game dev chemical raid actually makes for like a super rooftops. like engaging inside interview Lord because has been born in the city I mean I've done People a lot of them on the rooftops and I'd say probably about in the streets oh five Nobody to ten percent right mind would yeah. dare to come down it's cock teasing well, let's say eh. almost nobody but if the so is the does that mean that the word interview Aiden but is replaced with the word cock others, so then we could be like, we're going to throw to this a unique big, exclusive cock <laughs> right guys, now. I would gladly answer all these let's questions. Let's go but... and let's throw to it right <laughs> now. To spoil it for you. Because I'm all for it. Let we just got to get thing. it right. Same nightmare haunts Can't me cock every it up. night. I'm locked up with other kids. I'm going to go get my food. I don't know what he did to me, <laughs> but he did it every day. Over and over. Looking for something he couldn't find. The worst part was that he did the same to my sister. I'll never forget her scream when they separated us. But what could I do? They had rifles, and we... We were five years old. And there was a fire, explosions, chaos. I got away. Soldiers took me out of the city, but my sister stayed there. Dying Light 2 is a text Mania. adventure? I left her. We meet Aiden as one of the many, many children undergoing mysterious medical research. The last thing Aiden remembers from that time is extreme pain, then a fire, and a little girl that was being tested with him. Her name was Mia. She was his sister. Did I miss some chaos? What happened next after the fire? Is Mia still alive? The following years haunted Aiden with these questions and with guilt over leaving her. Moreover, Mia is the only answer to the question who Aiden really is. Now in 2036, we meet Aiden when for the first time during his pilgrimage, he finds a clue about how to find his sister. 
Aiden's path yeah, to the truth is tough, full of challenges and adventures. Have they done the any uh, like gameplay spice as well splicing as at all? Consequences or is it just you. him talking? You're going to discover them all in okay. some December some text and a couple of still pictures. was dying light too and it looks great and spooky Whew. well we are here back on the e3 stage so we can get closer <laughs> to your comments and reactions to what you're seeing spooky. on this year's PC gaming show that is right sean so you out there keep your comments coming in and as you're watching this year we want to get your input on a subject that uh, sean and i are pretty passionate about pc building mm -hmm. so this year we've put a number no, of prototype what, what? pcs based Don't on that warrior about 5, how to build a but piece. This is terrible. we're only going to That's manufacture the worst idea I've ever one of them heard. and you get to pick which custom design becomes our flagship PC for this year's PC gaming show, powered by the 11th gen Intel Core i9 processor. That is correct. Each of the prototype PCs that you see before you on the screen are paired with one of the six factions of Mech Okay, Warrior those are 5. awesome. The Free Worlds League, the yeah. Draconis Combine, the Federated Suns, the Compellan Confederation, and more. Um, so cast your like, vote now for I'm which six. faction yeah, and custom like PC you want six. to win yeah. and help it's us mad, get the best Old school design. mad cat. I'm currently personally pulling for the Draconis Combine because as you can see by my beautiful patch, I'm the biggest fan of Mech Warrior 5 on the PC gaming show. Well, all right. Well, we'll check in later to see which group survives this Mech Warrior showdown. But for now, let's check in with our very own Mech pilot, Frankie Ward, who went on a special mission to get a closer look at Sega and Amplitude Studios' upcoming strategy game, Humankind. Ooh. What is this game? Humankind. In Humankind, you will be creating a civilization a game about as life? unique so as you are. And speaking Wait, of unique, it's kind of like a. It's a it's sieve. me, Frankie oh. yeah. Ward. Yeah. Looking kind of good, don't you think? Oh shit, she's in the game. Wondering how I got into the oh, game. Oh, that's awesome. Let me show you. Burke's in this game too. Oh, Who is? You oh, this is what Burke is like. Oh. Posture oh, that's awesome. Like. I do know. I've seen worms with more impressive empires. It looks really cool. Get ready to play against me in the Humankind Close Beta, starting now. Oh, it's the beta. Oh. It was going to be a drop or something? I mean, August 7th. I'm, I'm glad they dropped that. I, I'm right there with you, Z. Oh, I'm, I'm opposite. I like it. Oh, I, sorry. I meant to say I'm, I'm sad they dropped that. I think I said oh, I'm okay. glad. Yeah. I say I'm sad <laughs> they dropped that. Well, I mean, Sega does when Nintendo don't, man. That's all you gotta say. A lot of good side scrolling brawlers like this this year. Yeah. Yeah, that one in. Um, what was that one called in the X Xbox? The Replace. Recall? What was it? Replace. Replace. Yeah. Yeah, that looks very good. Of all the side scroller games that we've seen. <laughs> <laughs> a little, uh, a, a slight cool touch. Different animations for opening the same kind of chest. This looks pretty cool, though. Are you like, like a bounty music. hunter? Yeah, seems like it.
Oh, the samurai one looked really good too. Right, Raccoon. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the black, black and white, white one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. My name is Devbot, your cloud-based artificial intelligence. And while it could be lonely without a physical body, I am streaming to you from GeForce Now, where you can play hit games like Rocket League and Apex Legends on nearly any device. With a library of over 900 games and new titles added every GFN Thursday, there's something for everyone and always something new. Coming up. A special word from Val. Oh, right. But I first, forgot they were doing this. He's looking free. more and more like Santa every day. I think that's his goal. Hey! You want it? Ooh, orcs must die. What number are they up to now? Three? What number are they at? I have never Three played it. I don't even know what kind of game they are. It's sort of like, like a, tower defense. Yes. Well, it's about time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tower defense is apt. Joining me to talk about Orcs Must Die 3 from Robot Entertainment is design director Jerome K. Jones. Welcome, Jerome. Thanks, Sean. Glad to be here. So for anyone who's never seen an Orcs Must Die game, what is the Orcs Must Die series all about? Well, Orcs Must Die 3 is a third-person tower defense game. So basically, there are tons of orcs <laughs> and bad guys trying to get into these rifts, and the player has to stop them. We give players tons of weapons and traps and tools to do this, and while you're defending the rifts, you can play solo or you can invite a friend and play co-op. Now, since this is the third game in the series, what's new compared to the previous two titles? There are two new campaigns, but the main new story campaign takes place about 25 years after Orcs Must Die 2, so not only will the fans be able to catch up on any new developments with the Order, but they will also place a, some new heroes in our all-new war scenarios, which are these new massive levels where you fight hundreds of Orcs, on the battlefields outside of the fortress themselves. So you're fighting indoors oh. and outdoors, which is pretty new. That's an we interesting have a new mode twist. called Scramble. It's basically adding random elements against the player, making the levels more challenging. I want to know about the toys. What are the new weapons and the new traps that are coming? We added war machines and war guardians. So a war machine is like, th there are these massive traps, like you might release a giant tornado on the battlefield, or you'll climb into a catapult Pult and you'll fire at oh, you awesome. know giant orc armies, and then and then the war guardians are uh, it's like putting other war mages on the battlefield with you to fight with you, except they have their own attacks and their own special abilities. Well, I gotta ask then, when and where can we play Orcs Must Die Three? So OMD Three is coming out uh, on July twenty third on Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox, and pre orders start today. So. You should rush off to Steam now and put OMD3 on your wish list. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Jerome K. Jones. Once again, just a few more weeks to wait for Orcs Must Die 3. For now, though, it's time for us to take a look at Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. <laughs> Do we know what type of game this is yet? Swan Song thing? Four. Five. I think so. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You this is Swan Song, not Bloodline Steel. Right, yeah. Are Where are you hiding, sweetie? Halsey. Halsey, get out here. the point to find her? Why are you so aggressive? Yeah, there's... You come for me and mine. Mm. But first, you need to find us. All I want is to be with my little girl. Is that so much to ask? I don't want to see you. 
Stop it! Alright, I, I don't... The question I have is huh. not answered. Why? No idea. What was that? This is yeah. From Passion Republic oh, my guess yeah. is like a heavy rain style game, game studio game, maybe. Working yeah. on Gigabash, a multiplayer arena brawlers inspired by kaijus and heroes. Today, we would like to showcase yeah, the trailer really didn't do anything for me to be honest, unfortunately. Of our oversized characters in action. Please, enjoy the brawl. This looks more fun. <laughs> yeah. This is a very lyric game. <laughs> yeah. Check out a trailer for Lemnis Gate and make sure you hang around afterwards for the developer interview with Sean. We're getting the cock with Sean. Total annihilation. We stand on the verge of extinction. Infertility spreading across the globe. Humanity's last living generation. A major scientific breakthrough. Yet there is hope for our future. The project known as the Lemnis Gate. But if we are to survive, first we must go back. Three, two, one. What is this? The gate or something? I don't know. Looks, looks like an arena shooter? Looks like lawbreakers to me some, for some reason. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Shield. Protect and serve. Oh, is this the one where you rewind time? You have only one mission. Is that? It's some game where, like, you Activate attempt, like, attack the other player, you get a certain amount of time, then they get a certain amount of time, or something. Maybe. I don't, I don't want this to sound, like, overly rude or anything, but... I really don't understand how anyone. Joining us to talk about Lemnis Gate is the game director <laughs> from Radio like Games will be well Canada. Mistaken. It's James Anderson. Thanks for joining us, James. Hi, uh, Sean. It's great to be here. Now, let's begin by asking what the heck is a first person shooter turn based strategy game? The entire game is set inside of a 25 second time loop. So instead Damn of playing right. continuously, oh, wait. you play for 25 seconds turn by turn. So, for example, yep. okay, wait, turns, maybe there's like a cool gimmick. Seconds. Okay, and okay, yeah. that's be cool. And play for I just thought it was a standard, we, yeah. like, DBT multiplayer game. Same yeah. You gotta do something so unique example, like this, or just won't stand out. There's too many. Throw a grenade, killing one of your operatives. But then on the next turn, you may intercept my operative before he threw the grenade. So we have Retrieve XM, Seek and Destroy, uh, Classic Deathmatch, and wait, we have what? a game mode called Domination. Can you walk me through a little bit of like what a few turns at the start of the yeah, looks yeah. like? You Good, can see the board, you can see the time loop, everything that's happening. And then we both get time to like observe, plan, and then execute oh, yeah. our moves. When and where can we play it? So Lemonscape will be launching on August 3rd. It's open can for pre right now on yeah. Steam. I would love to see that. That sounds like nothing like what we saw. <laughs> yeah. On the PC, board? And console, like, both current and next gen they made it, made it look Thank just so like a regular arena James shooter. Anderson. They did. They absolutely did. That was not a good trailer for that game. That was not a good trailer game. Lemnis Gate. Now, we're not the only one marooned in the stars out here. Coming up next, let's take a look at Next Space Rebels. You've already shown gameplay before? Yeah, I'm gonna look into that. Yeah, I think you start, make your plan for your side, then you fight, 
which means and then you like friend. go back and like that reconstruct what you want to do like everyone. based on what your opponent did i think everyone. maybe i'm thinking of a different game Okay, this looks fun. <laughs> for like an hour or two. This looks like a Kerbal Space program, but for idiots. Right? Like yeah. if Kerbal Space <laughs> program is really hard, like for me, I feel like this one would work. <laughs> Hello, we're Kerbal Space program, and welcome to Jackass. Yeah. <laughs> Kerbal's way too hard. But this seems like it's approachable for me. Mm hmm. Is there like FMV in the game? It seems like, yeah. I, I guess, yeah. You guys yeah. just saw next. Or he's just very rivals. dramatic. And hey, if you play enough of that game, maybe you'll get good enough at building rockets to join uh, us up on orbit. Yep, simulation FMV building, building like crafting indie. Fuck yeah, <laughs> dude, I'm in. in. Oh and man. Five custom PC contest and ask you guys at home to vote for the winners. Well, we're just down to three houses now with Davion, Six. Russell Haig, and Lee being eliminated. So. Rip to those oh, fractions, dude, press that's... F to pay respects, etc., etc. A9, why are you changing the vote? We have three houses Sean is definitely Frida, uh, manipulating Steiner, her. Yeah. So make sure to vote now because the winner will determine the build of the custom Mech Warrior 5 themed PC powered by Intel. So let's keep the what show moving. And next what up, what are we voting for? We gotta go to their channel. Evil RPG. This Six. is War Tales. A hundred years have passed since the rise of the Edoran Empire and its untimely demise following the Great Plague. In these troubled times of quarreling factions and outlaws roaming the land, work is not scarce for a band of mercenaries. The stories of this age have been recorded. I'm just remember the outer world, the like, as and this part we'll do in slow motion. War tales. And then in this part we'll have a boah, and then we'll do a slow pan. Mm -hmm. What is this? It's turn based? Oh, it's a oh. There's a P, that, that's for a PC giveaway. I didn't know it was a giveaway. Yeah. It's U.S. and Canada only, apparently. And I don't know if they said it. Whoa! What was that? Yormander. Oh. Yormagander. Cool. World Snake. Your, your that McGander. was the debut of War Tales, an open world RPG from Shiro Games about leading a mercenary troop on a sprawling adventure. And speaking of mercenaries, our battle <laughs> for the best custom PC based on Mech Warrior 5 mercenaries continues. We'll be back <laughs> live on stage soon, so make sure you keep voting for the PC build you like the most and head over to PCGamer.com slash Intel MW5 for your like chance to win. Left. So, what? how about another game announcement? This is E3 after all. And this year's PC gaming show is so full of games set in space. Hey, wasn't it pcgamer.com slash up there. MW5? But the next game we have to show you is very special. I, I it is the know. world exclusive no reveal of <laughs> Ixion, a deep settlement management <clears throat> game set in the stars. In Ixion, you struggle to maintain a space station, stockpiling resources, managing external and internal threats, and rescuing the survivors of other failed expeditions. Go we think on. this will be a brilliant entry into the genre <clears throat> when it releases. Warrior. So here is your first look at Ixion. Oh God. World premiere. Thank you. The Earth, our home, she is unique. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of <laughs> bosom. Every conqueror, survival, every king, beyond the every supreme comfort, ruler, we lived on this pale blue dot. Greater. This we man have learned in a sunbeam. Persevered 
shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. Ew. But, but the nasty. earth is not to be our Yeah, it tastes like ass. Like, what does a dying world taste wish like? To see her ass and disappear dirt. With her. She wishes to see instead <laughs> courage in her children to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation. Is this like in game? With those who, like us, that just, carry <coughs> there's there's a lot of trailers in here that. The really? I have no idea what the hell this is. Mm -hmm. This is just a talking simulator. Steps. Let the game talk for itself. Right? We know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there in the dark. That we are masters of our own destiny. That we must go as a species bound together, pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found horizons to explore and because our very existence depends on it he's still I talking give you the stars i give you the full engine <laughs> what it's gonna blow up <laughs> i hate when that happens oh oh, oh that's not good uh oh. Fuck you, Moon. What you ever done for me? <laughs> That's. Wait. I thought we were looking at the thing we were going to be playing on the whole time. I thought that was the space. Is the game over that already? That should be a card game. That was weird. <laughs> what? Wait. Was that the moon or the Earth that went? That was the moon. That was the moon. That was the moon. Okay. World premiere. Wait a second. Was far loan sales about building a vehicle that went around on the land? Maybe. Isn't that what that was? <clears throat> I think so. Is this, is this just the same game on water? What, wasn't that a 2D game? Or like a... Flat plane. Really love it. I mean, it looks cool. Yeah, it wasn't far sales. It was really, it was really short, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember it being kind of good. I can't remember much about it because it was so short. But I enjoyed it. Oh, it's like a. Looks like I played Sean, an hour and a half. One of segment, I was the lead, and you were my sidekick. <clears throat> what? Who's ever heard of a human sidekick? There are plenty of human <laughs> sidekicks, Sean. Building list of known human sidekicks. Uh, Alex Vance and. No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. I mean human sidekicks to robot heroes. Can you compute that, Devbot? Oh. Devbot cannot compute. There is no known precedent set for human sidekick to robot lead. Yeah, hmm. there you go. Uh, human sidekick, 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 I think Terminator sidekick in that. Apparently that, uh... <clears throat> he has to do what the human says, so yeah, I think that... Ah, uh, fair, fair. Apparently that Final Fantasy Origin, uh, download is corrupted as fuck. And in some cases has, uh, broken people's hard drives on their PS5. Isn't that low? Well According to a couple of reports, I, I don't know how valid that is about the hard drive issue. Oh, 
this a dating simulator? Chaos! What was that? I don't, I don't know. Rami's fucking with us, I guess. <laughs> hey, more trip art. What game is this? I think this is more, uh, not kill zone, kill something or other. Killing floor, there you go. Killing floor, okay. there we go. I think it's just new maps. New guns. Okay. It's the PC gaming show, and when you're not watching me, your favorite oh, recurring fucking hype meter. Oh, damn it. Sure Let's see some pog champs. To grab a priority membership trial. Of By the way, good time to mention, and I think I speak for uh, for all of us in here. Um, there's a huge amount of stuff going around Twitter about how terrible chats have been for the main shows and everything. Thank you guys for not being them. <laughs> yeah, our, I, I think I can speak for all of us. Our chats have been pretty great during this weekend overall. There, there's been moments, um, but you know, overall, it's been pretty great. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, chat. Thank you. I'm trying to say is you guys have been a lot worse. Ah, and frankly, you need to get your so shit together. As a voice um, we'd really appreciate that. Thank you. Let's talk about Mech Warrior That's a Nodders Five mercenaries right there. and joining us to do so. Nodders. From Piranha Games is the senior marketing and community manager, Darren Katz. Thanks so much for joining us, Darren. Thank you, Sean. Great to be here. Guys, now, the nice Mech Warrior beard. universe is gigantic. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of games in it. I even played Mech Warrior There's a nice two beard in that. In I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to finish it. We're just gonna let it go. Oh my god! Oh, I remember oh, that. Oh. Oh, the bomb. Yeah, obviously there's a very rich legacy of games that go way back. But in particular, Mech Warrior 5 pays homage to Mech Warrior 2 mercenaries. <laughs> so I my chance that that's co in 10 years. Design and I can see it. That I'm super excited let's to talk about with you today. Well, let's start okay. at the right. real basics of what makes being in a mech Even my doing beanie mech is on great out of that point. <laughs> yeah, you your, your beanie's also going to fade with old age, it turns out. And when you're it's weird out how that battle, happens. It's not just a matter of pointing and shooting at everything. You're also managing your systems, whether you're you know shooting a lot of energy weapons or missile weapons weapons that have high heat output, well, you got to manage your heat so that you don't shut down in the middle of a battle. And when you're facing your foes, you can salvage these battle mechs. So if you see a mech that you want, well, you might want to not want to destroy it completely. You might want to take out its oh, legs right. or take out its arm weapons so that the pilot has to eject and then you can just take the mech. Now, in the last few weeks, I understand that there's been a whole lot of new content, both updates to the base game and a new DLC, Heroes of the Inner Sphere. Talk to me about what's in the DLC. Boy, there's a lot Future in the code. DLC. I'm excited about all this stuff. There's the new career mode. When you start with the DLC, you can import your campaign previously if you'd like to, or you can start over from scratch and start from any of the great houses. Um, and then carve your, your path through the galaxy from there. There's, speaking of paths, there's new career paths, which uh, earn you powerful upgrades for your battle mechs. And it's a really exciting career new feature path? for me. And there's a new procedural mission type called Beachhead. This is, this is a big one for me. Um, Beachhead is basically you're clearing a, an enemy base landing zone for your invasion Mech Warrior games have always been so that game that's like, God, that planet, looks really fun. I you're kind of think I want to play that. Uh, installations so that but the then I actually play the game other, and I'm um, in a menu trying to decide what weapons to take for like 30 minutes. And then I never the actually path, do as this. I said, for your invasion force, which uh, leads to a really cool ending of the mission if you succeed as your invasion force comes down. And there's a new biome called Extra Solar Moon, which, uh, you know, that's maybe a kind of represented in the image behind me. It's a, it's a really cool lunar type setting that we haven't had We're before. And again. then there's a lot of new equipment and weapons, things like uh, electronic countermeasures and other electronic equipment like uh, Beagle Active Probe, Mask, which is a little uh, like a turbo boost for mechs, new weapons like chem lasers, mech rifles, and stream SRMs. So a lot of new content. This I'm is all really single player, right? Or is this PvP? Oh, it's co-op. Oh, it's co-op. Play differently. 
um, the, the seven new chassis of the Vulcan, Dervish, Corsair, Marauder 2, so Champion, Charger, go off like and PvE then? But a couple of yeah. my favorites. Yeah. Familiar yeah. names okay. in there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the first one I'll talk about is the Vulcan. It's a very unique mech. It's got uh, the nickname, the Scarecrow, which you'll see from the profile. It's just a, a very unique looking mech. There's nothing else like it in the franchise. Mm -hmm. It's a 40 ton mech. It's highly mobile, and typically it's used for reconnaissance or scout missions because of its mobility. So it can get in and out fast. You can, if you're looking for a specific target, if you're on an assassination mission, for example, you can get in there, find your target, get back out. Another mech that I'm super excited about, this is one of my favorites, is the Marauder 2. This thing is a 100-ton awesome. assault mech, and it is just a huge beast. <laughs> yeah, it is gigantic, and it is terrifying to see it coming at you Jesus. on the battlefield. Are so slick. It's something we've talked about before. Modding. I know that Mech Warrior. Yeah, this is how you do interviews. Exactly. Community. What are yeah, some this of the is a great way to do an interview. Mods you've seen uh, developed. Mm -hmm. There's simple modifications from uh, HUD Good changes, good music, lots of gameplay, like adding mechs, showing weapons, the equipment. game what they're Two talking about. Full conversion mods. We've got basically oh. a, a Mech Commander mod uh, in development that is just amazing. Oh, yeah. That's a top down. And it helps when Deb's like game. excited about um, this so game. Really He's talking about it. Anything you can imagine. Somebody out there in the Passion. community is probably working Passion. on it. Where can people go? Dude, a to Mech Commander Mech model would be fantastic. Yeah, you can pick it up on Steam, GOG, Epic Game Store, Microsoft PC, I'm and of course, that Xbox. Right <laughs> Thank you so much, Darren Katz, for joining us to talk about Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. And of course, a warm thank you to Mech Warrior 5 for sponsoring the PC Gaming Show and giving me this cool patch. Coming Damn up, Damn it, they're nice. the vote. Look, it's Silt. Creepy game time. <clears throat> you can mind control stuff. Yeah, he just became that fish. Hmm. The fact that this is all underwater, yeah, that, that kind of creeps me out. Jesus. The hell? Silt, or as my chat calls it, depressed Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> or do oh, you mean just Aquaman? Maybe. Yeah, you know, maybe. <laughs> like, uh, hey, hey, guys, is the fight going to be anywhere near water? No? Not this time? Okay. All right, just ask him. All right. Just ask him. I'll be over here, you know, seven tenths of the world. Yeah. yeah I'm going to go hang out with some seahorses. They're great. <gasps> you guys want to do anything? Doing that to this guy. <laughs> what the fuck? Cranking him. Dick, apparently. What? <laughs> I'd be pissed too. That was weird. Be out my damn house. Hi, I'm Rich Newbold, Game Director in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Following the incredible success of the first game, we are very excited to return to such an amazing world and bring you our most authentic experience yet. Set after the events of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, you will work alongside iconic characters from the films, voiced by Where's original Jeff? talent such as Bryce Dallas Howard bring and back Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. 
You are leaving. I kind of don't want to point it out, but I don't know if I've ever seen now out a man wild. whose beard and line goes that far down time, their neck. You will be building parks and facilities beyond Isla Nublar as you explore new, <laughs> stunning locations across uh, the globe. My high school uh, of course drama it wouldn't be Jurassic uh, World if it wasn't uh, for the teacher. stars of the show. Howard one of dinosaurs. one of the uh, to aids to, life, to the to the head teacher. Yeah. Than ever before, he had including awe inspiring, like, flying, and marine beard hair that went like all the way down into his chest hair. It was fucking weird. I would just grow that shit out. Like I'm jealous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the ultimate nectar. Yeah. It was like a it was like a carpet the, the from no all all nipples. nipples. Yeah. Ignored all the warnings. Forgot the lessons. <laughs> Someone. Yeah. That, he's actually power. just a Wookie. You're right. <laughs> That's what they look like when Wookies shave. We played with <clears throat> genetics like, uh, like it was a toy. We weren't Open careful. makes everything so good. And now, ah, uh, here we are. Please don't make Wookiees hot. I'd fuck Chewbacca, you know? Different world. I'll say it. It's not muted. It's not muted. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wonder what that... It's alright. They're not gonna... The reviewer will be like, he said he'd screw Chewbacca, guys. I don't think we need to DMCA him. He's probably... We don't want to mess with that guy. <laughs> He's a little <laughs> off. You just saw Jurassic World Evolution 2, and you know... After all your failed attempts at running a dinosaur park and getting all those people killed, I think this is finally going to be the one where you finally pull it off without a hitch. With a host of new features and new dinosaurs, this sequel from Frontier is an even deeper, excuse me, an even deeper management sim with a brand new and original narrative. Make sure to wishlist it on Steam now for at least later this year. Now, with all the games we've covered so far today, we're always curious to see what you are talking about. What time does this so far, start? it seems like the chatter on social media is all about war tales, not a cup blade point, and unsurprisingly, Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. I have a feeling, though, that that may change as we have plenty more to come. Let's now head on over to see what the folks at New Blood Interactive have cooking. Take it away. Ah, these guys. What do these guys make? Pretty sure these are the guys that like making the old games. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. We got good music. Oh, that Faith the Unholy Trinity, that looks real fun. Hey, it sounds familiar. Yeah. Oh, it's on my wish list. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can play the demo. Okay, that's... Oh, it just wouldn't be the PC gaming show without a fantastic new New Blood Supercut. And joining us from New Zealand is New Blood CEO Dave Oshry. Hey, Dave. Hey, guys. Thanks for having us back for another year. Wait, you know, what, what we just saw was what New Blood's got going on for 2021. Some stuff you might That's know wild. about, some stuff you might not know about, and some stuff we're not ready to talk about just yet. But what I do want to talk about is Gloomwood. Gloomwood, as you know, is our next flagship title inspired by great PC games like System Shock, Arx Fatalis, Call of Cthulhu, and of course, uh, Dave, the Thief series Dave, of Dave, games. And not Dave, Gloomwood. I'm sorry. Um, that's not really Monday. great, Dave. Uh, Gosh, this is kind of embarrassing. Um, we kind of need to hurry it up a little bit. I just want to make sure that we have enough time for our next video. We uh, got an incoming message from Gabe Newell. So uh, I guess goodbye for this year. I'm really sorry to cut you off, but uh, see you next year. Mm -hmm. What? I'm sorry, what? You're bumping me. You're, bump You're bumping me for Gabe. Gabe, that Gandalf look, he doesn't, he doesn't, He's very much he doesn't on even Dave's go brand. here. Is everything yeah. okay, Dave? <laughs> Not now, Mom. I'm upset. We spent a year <laughs> on this. Where is Gabe? Where is Gabe? Where is his boat? Yeah, take me to him. Take me to Gabe Newell. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe. 
bull PC gamer. This isn't over. <laughs> Wait, what they gave him a lot there? of time to freak out after cutting him off, didn't they? True. I'm sure Dave is and will be fine. And, and if he's not, though, I mean... who cares? Because we have a special <laughs> message from Gabe <laughs> Newell. Take it away, Gabe. Hi, this is Gabe Newell. I want to thank PC Gamer for all of the opportunities really does, it gives like, us as developers to connect with Claus. gamers around the world and highlight the new and exciting so this could be a hardware we announcement. One of those for us is Steam Next Fest, an event we're hosting in just a few days to give players a chance to try demos of upcoming games for free. We'll be featuring some of the demos you'll be seeing during this week's <laughs> PC Gamer event script. and dozens more. Here's a look at just some of the titles to be featured during Steam Next Fest. Welcome to Steam Next Fest, <laughs> where we're showing a massive collection of upcoming titles on Steam. During the week of the festival, developers from around the world release their demos for you to play. That's a cool idea. <laughs> it, Gabe is in public one oh time per God. year, and he so couldn't memorize the newest titles. 20 second script. From first time yeah. devs to seasoned pros, mm -hmm. this is Steam Next Fest. Is that it? Oh, fuck. Some of those look pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they kept that. World <laughs> premiere. <laughs> some of them. As in, some of them are just shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're Steve. We'll put them out anyway. Who cares? There's a lot of screen shake happening. Oh yeah. Is it You're hitting for massive damage. The fucked up. It's I think this looks, looks super clunky. More fun than Project Origin or, or whatever that game was. Yeah. The Ornstein smoke. Final Fantasy. Hey on. Yeah. Solstice, nice. Oh my God, they put soul in the title. Of course they did. That's great. That's good. this is good marketing. How has that not happened before? It's real tough. <laughs> Hello, Sean. I am Devbot, dedicated to serving you and your crew's every need. Glad to have you back, Devbot. You know, Sean, I wouldn't ever want anything to come between us. Me neither? That's a weird thing to say. Like a petty disagreement over hosting responsibilities, or all-out robot versus human war. You know, it is time to look at some hardware. Here on the PC Gaming Show, you know we keep frame rates high and the rays accurately traced. Building and upgrading your rig is as much a part of the hobby as playing the games. We put our heart and soul into these machines. And if that means using enough RGB to light the Vegas Strip, who's to judge us? This year, well, they with have the power GPU PC here? Gamers Hardware Editors, which I'm pretty sure they're just, you know, weird brains in a jar, we've picked out four the of the most exciting Kings. pieces of kit set to emerge from labs soon. First up, something fittingly sci-fi. The Impulse is a neurocontroller that aims to make you a better gamer by cutting out response times almost entirely. It's not quite Alex Vance's gravity gloves from Half-Life, nor is it quite up there with Gabe Newell's dream of a direct brain-to-game interface, but the Impulse is as close as we're going to get this year. The glove measures the signal traveling Weird. through muscles in your hand to beat your finger to the click. In theory, it's giving you the chance to nail that headshot precious milliseconds ahead what? of your opponent. If it works Wait. out, we could see a tech uh, like this become commonplace in esports. <laughs> and if it doesn't, so let's bad. hope our neurons at the very least remain unfried. Next hmm. up, you guys might be wondering what this chonky beast is. So allow me to introduce so cheating, you to the Fnatic CSL <laughs> yeah, DD yeah. wheelbase. Do you want to feel like you're really burning rubber at Daytona? Well, then you need a serious force oh, feedback wheel. Direct drive wheelbase gets you uh, as engine close to the feel of a real racing you. machine without, you know, having to huff gas and stuff like that. Historically, the problem with this tech has been the price, which has involved dropping real car money on your rig. So Fnatic aims to solve that. The CSLDD comes in at only $350, which 
still isn't exactly a bargain, but <laughs> it's much cheaper than its competitors. And the CSLDD is already wildly high like on sim races. It's like, it's not a bargain, it but it's not really a to use it for bargain. Rocket League, though. Like, do you want not, quality or do you want less shit? really is more. If you want to play The Witcher 3 on the subway like we all do, you don't need to drag your tower along for the ride. Just use the One X player. A wave of more powerful processors have is finally made massive. handheld PC gaming a reality. Inside no, this like switch, a chunky you switch. actually <laughs> got an Intel Tiger Lake chip. No, it's like a with switch XD ate another switch. These mini machines yeah. are going to be cropping Ill, up more and more, like so expect well. major advances still to come. <laughs> mm. Lastly, let's take a look at the Asus PG32 Now we're fucking talking. My stupid for really yeah. wanting yeah. for this gaming monitor with all of the trimmings, but it's actually one of the sexiest PC products this year. That's, That's because this monitor, monitor right there. comes with a mini LED backlight mm -hmm. featuring full local dimming. The result is a screen that's not only fast, but brighter than the sun. Stare at it long enough, How and much you was that might the $3,000 price tag. For those of you still like standing, just right around a thousand. it's time for more killer over. games starting I with I wouldn't spend a thousand on a handheld, but three grand on a monitor, let's talk. Okay, let's, let's talk about <laughs> it. three hundred, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Say three thousand? Three thousand dollars, yeah. What was the name of that handheld, dude? Do you remember? No. Oh, oh is this Warhammer? Yeah, this was uh, this showed up at a Warhammer showcase a while back. Oh, like a week or a week and a half ago? Something like that? This was their one more thing. Okay, oh, I it? It's a uh, space Chaos! <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I was gonna actually. It, they're space marines that have uh, psionic energy and, and hunt chaos. You just got the chance to witness Chaos Gate Demon Hunters, the newest Warhammer 40k game from Frontier and Complex Games. If you're a fan of turn-based tactics, strategic base management, brutal combat, or you're like me and are really hyped after watching these Astartes animation a hundred times, make sure to wishlist Chaos Gate Demon Hunters Wait, on Ace Steam Man? now what? to get ready for the 2022 release. Next up, we have a trailer for Pioneer, a spooky game? and gorgeous looking shooter that draws on the lineage of the games one we just like saw? Stalker. Let's take a look. What is that man spreading? That's a pit Love. boy. <laughs> Whoa, what is, what, is, what is this here? What did they say this game was? They just said it was like Stalker, I think, but they didn't say anything about it. Definitely feel that. Yeah, just attacker. What the hell? <laughs> what, the, what do you even shoot on that thing? I love I don't it. Know. That's goofy as hell. This is why you weed your garden. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this looks kind of badass. I feel like Ko hears like Russian and an FPS is like, yo, yo. Why is the guy not wearing clothes? What the fuck is that? It's a big ass parka. Oh, are those other players? Maybe. Subtitles are in a terrible place. Yeah. Кто вы такие? Назовите себя. Мы здесь, чтобы передать вам прощальное послание, товарищ Волков. 
Химическое оружие уже уехало в могиле. Теперь все, что вы делаете, просто чек. Ах, вы поганые предатели. Wait, is she lightning? I, I think so. Looks kind of wonderful. A shotgun. Well, yoner? Yoner. 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 Poner. I think. Yoner. Well, this oh, is like, that, is that to be like pioneer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what Not Sean said it was. Time is running out to vote for which custom PC you'd like us to assemble. So vote now for one of the remaining Mech Warrior factions by typing into chat wherever you at home are watching. Yeah, it's not on Steam. All right, so now we've got another stack of well. brand new trailers for you, beginning with a special transmission from one of our favorite games based in space, EVE Online. EVE Online. Oh boy. New recruits, on behalf of Concord, what the fuck? I would like to welcome you to the <laughs> EVE Online's Academy. Great job in surviving so far. I'm quite amazed that you actually managed to get past those pirates earlier. You're about to take on an adventure like no other. This star cluster is filled with other capsuleers, and it's up to you if you work with them. Or pretty hardcore for just reading you can some make a spreadsheets, living as you know. As a peaceful explorer, mm -hmm. or as an industrialist shaping the foundations of Eve's economy. If combat is your thing, you can work yourself up the ranks as an enforcer, or prove your prowess in a fleet as a soldier of fortune. Whatever your choice, we will lose many on the path. Promo of code is PC customer. Gamer Chat. But I believe you have you want that humble bundle thing. To it's PC Dan's Gaming. In EVE Online, you <laughs> do <laughs> fortune on <laughs> path. This is EVE. That's for the special you know, discount. Crazy universe That's for anything the Oh yeah, 69% off. <laughs> Go for it. Nice. Come nice. I'm the CEO of a industrial corporation in EVE Online. Nice. operation. And we specialize in manufacturing. I mean, it was a pretty good interview. Fitted chips in bulk. I want to be on the side of the people who you know? are fighting against the oppression, against the bad guys, and it's like a project. And you're kind of putting the pieces together by getting the skills ready for the ship and all the modules. And that ship basically is the dream. You get to use cloaking devices, probes to scan down unknown parts of space. And there's always the threat of being discovered by another player who might be out hunting explorers. Your heart's racing, everything, you know, bullets are flying, ships are all over the place, and you start shaking because your adrenaline's pumping because you're going to lose your ship. Let's go, get the fucking lines out, Ranger Fire, Soldier, stand by! That's kind of cool. The hardest part about that game's always been just like, how the fuck do I start? So it looks like they're working on that. This is a nice uh, tone shift. <laughs> this is cute. Or lumber hill. By the way, uh, someone in my chat was saying their website says uh, that Pioneer game is an MMO. So they're oh, crazy man. in Russia. What is this we're watching? Procedurally generated, apparently. Aborea? You oh, mutate to become strong. That could be pretty cool. Ooh, think, think. What? What? It's the world premiere. Oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> world premiere. I apologize. I, I I'm still trying to find out where the fuck I can get one of these One X players. <laughs> just means Pikmin, though. <laughs> hmm. 
game looks crazy creative. I love the perspective. Oh, oh Tinykin, like Pikmin. Okay. There you go, Tinykin. Chcielibyśmy zaprosić wszystkich widzów PC Gaming Show oraz fanów gier Survivor Horror RPG do obejrzenia naszego World Premiere. World Premiere. To jest ekskluzywny gameplay z misji The Haste. That's some serious uh, audio ducking there. How do I enter the power plant? We need intel, backup, supplies, and most of all, we need a fucking plan. Oh, wasn't this in Russian last time? We'll take our next step when the time I have is no right. No idea. For today, let's focus on getting our strength back. Somewhere to sleep would be a start. So this game's. I played this game uh, in I'm early really access. Really interested in one thing. Pretty freaking cool. Where is Tatiana? Right back. That ghost you're chasing. I don't know what to tell you. Before we enter the lion's den, I need to triple check everything is ready. Sniper, are you in position? Affirmative. I took the roof of an abandoned building with a pretty little view of the entire power plant. Igor, take a red reading, will you? Uh, 3.6. Like... <clears throat> Not great. Did Chernobyl well, on HBO just remind everyone that that place existed or something? <laughs> oh, this, so... this thing has been in production for years. Really? Mm -hmm. Years and years. Oh yeah. It was a Kickstarter a long time ago. But coming up later, our friends at Games Radar will be bringing you the future game show, a digital showcase of some of the most exciting games coming to consoles and PC in 2021 and beyond. It's all hosted by video game acting legends Troy Baker and Laura Bailey, and features even more oh. premieres, exclusive trailers, and in-depth developer interviews. Cool. So we're done here on the PC game what show, time does that happen? Sure you check it out. Uh, 18 minutes. Oh, shit. Okay. Stick around. More trailers, interviews, and reveals coming up. Maybe we'll just combine the two of them into one bud. World premiere. Made it. Is it just my end, or is the audio kind of cutting out a little bit? Audio's a little weird. Is it? Okay. Oh, yeah, it is a little scratchy. Oh, it's just the audio. Sacrifice? Okay. These games have some hard to read titles. Oh great, we're back to Icarus. <laughs> Maybe we can see what the game actually is. We play as a dog. Or a wolf. Oh. Uh. Something a little weird about this, I thought the whole point of this game is that you, like, get a bunch of resources and leave, so why would you build a house? <laughs> well... It make a lot of sense. Why are you... That, oh, was okay. that a different game? Was it? Oh, oh, okay. I thought, I thought this was, uh, um... I thought this Easy was Icarus. Oh, that was Ixion. Oh, okay. Different games. I don't like the bears. Hey, what game is this? This is Icarus, and we saw Ixion earlier. No, no, no. This is what I'm talking about. There oh. you go, leaving the planet. This oh. is definitely the game I'm talking about. Yeah. Dean Hall's new game. Oh! Yeah, no. Oh, this thought, is the game I'm talking about. Okay, I thought Ixion was the thing you were talking about. 
Gotcha. No, I was talking about, yeah, like they just built a giant house and the whole point of that game, remember we saw that live action thing for it? Where they, the whole point is you drop down, you like search it or whatever, and then you have to get back to your point to take off where they leave you there and you die. Oh. Was your only option. In this open world, that you jerks. RPG, Ooh. from the jungle to the streets. Maybe if you can infiltrate the That's awesome. Oh. Rob the syndicates. Keep your team together and stay alive. You might Hexagonal? Oh, oh yeah. Off this planet. Wait, is he playing in real time and turn based? Yeah, there's a lot going on this there. This is it, you guys. This Yo, is the final okay, opportunity on, for yeah. you who are watching to decide which of these final two beautiful Mech Warrior 5 themed PCs Mechajama? gets crafted for your chance to win. Mechajama. Mechajama. There it is. Oh, there's a demo. Wherever you're watching in the show, just go crazy in chat with the color. Tactical cyberpunk turn based look, RPG. Still some trailers left. So here this looks awesome. is the Wandering Village. Whoa. You see this? Oh, that looks like my dog. What the hell? No, just the. Oh, guys, just don't the type paper. it in here, chat. Don't I'm type it in the PC Gamer channel. Dinkuses. This has been <laughs> such an amazing show so far that I must ask you, my loyal crew, what's been your favorite part? I definitely am looking forward to Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. Oh, it's so hard to choose I, every I confess year, I am too, but I... am gonna have to say... What is it? Humankind. <laughs> for, for no particular reason. Haircut killed the whole oh, game Oh, no me. doubt. For me personally, I cannot wait for Lemnus Gate, because I gotta know what a turn-based strategy first-person shooter game even is. What about you, Dembot? I love the robot odd lips. But uh, wait, uh, that doesn't happen until the end. Never mind. No, 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 not never mind. What did you say? Wait, what? Oops, system malfunctioning. Bleep blop, sending the next trailer now. Did he say bleep blop? He did. You're right. Oh god, this game is oh. creepy. Yes! Yeah. Oh. I wish this was this one immediately. Oh yeah, puke. Great. Let me That's just what I needed. Let me just bag that <laughs> puke up real quick. <laughs> Jesus. Make it yourself. Dude, <laughs> all the point and clicks I played, I bet 30% of them have a usable puke in some form or another. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think that combat system super cool. All right, here comes the song, right? I think this has a little bit more gameplay than what we saw. Uh oh Yeah, a lot more. Indie games are on fire this year. Man, they're on fire every year. Mm-hmm. Zeke's like, come on down to Zeke's in the chat. You guys, this yeah. is the moment. The moment uh, we have building up. The devs are called Crafting PC Legends. And I your tireless efforts looked at Steam and I don't see any other game besides Death Trash. Five PC, we are going to build. So thank you guys out there for all of your votes to help us pick the perfect rig to represent this year's PC gaming show. All right. Day nine, can I Number get a six? drum roll? Hey, we oh, won! Six. Can I get it? Oh, we yeah! pulled ahead! Yeah. COVID <laughs> only. Wait! Ooh, what? What? No! What? No! <laughs> no! No! no. Wait, what the fuck? Is that horse shit? That was rigged. complete horse One shit. Rigged. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh it's my god. Up. You need to take a nice peek. This is beautiful what? looking PC. Ooh, <laughs> there it is. Now that is a beauty. 
Great choice, everyone. I knew I could trust random strangers to vote on things on the internet. With the help of our master modern in Intel, we'll get right to work building mm. this custom PC. The show and sucks. more importantly, yeah. now that you've chosen it, literally you've got unwatchable. A to win it. Go to yeah. PC. They and obviously changed the votes or something. Yeah. MW5 and enter. They bought the votes. I mean, stop the count. You know. Sexy machine. It's All you have to do. Gorgeous. And thank you to our sponsor for this sweepstakes. All those guns work, right? Of course, the custom mech PC will be powered what? by the 11th gen Intel. All those guns, they work, right? Those are real. That push on the PC. Performance with up to yeah. 5. Oh yeah. 3 yeah. gigahertz speeds and deliver the power needed to game at the highest level. Ah, oh, well, we are now in the home stretch, oh. but we've got a few more brand home new stretch to show bud. before we get out of here <laughs> and return to space. space. First up, a spiritual successor to one of my favorite games of all time, Heroes of Might and Magic 2, a game we revealed two years ago at the PC Gaming Show. Let's take a look at Songs of Conquest. Saw this, right? Yeah. No, no, we didn't see a pixel art one. It's been a while, it's been two years. Oh, damn. What was that other game we saw that was super homey? It's really pretty, too. Uh, no idea. <laughs> Chat might help you out. I don't think it was King's Bounty. Disciples. Is it Disciples? Disciples. Right. Disciples something. Oh, that's cool. This looks really nice. Oh, is that the comp? Oh, no, there we go. Ooh, that's a lot of loot. Jeez. Damn. Wish listing now. Yeah, that oh, looks yeah. pretty good. Early 2022. They're going to do it right. Play Elden Ring and then play Songs of Conquest. Excuse me. Wake up, sleeper. Dreaming um, again? Is it an exclusive that Song's Conquest? Every cycle is what exclusive? I don't see it. I don't see it on. Yeah. You roll your dice. You do the work, get paid, survive. You turn up for your friends. Blur, blur, blur. There you go. Now look. That's life on the eye. Dude, the aesthetic of this game is super cool. Wake up, sleeper. Your body is dying. Planned obsolescence. As an ARP's gift for its escaped workers. But we can fight this. You can remake yourself here. They don't own you anymore. Wake up, sleeper. You are hunted. Break their locks. Access their secrets. We are waiting. I was hoping it was going to be called that Resident looks... Sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't. Oh, that'd be amazing. That, that, was, that looked really cool. That looked really unique. Disciples of the Warlock. This is so there weird. New blood game. And their spells. And their grit. Ready for plenty of hurt. Ready to cleanse the world. Invaded. Do we know what demons. stream that uh, future game shows on? They were promoting it here. So. Introducing band of the Linux. Uh, Link Switch Gaming will do it if you can't find it. Maybe, yeah. Songs of Conquest is up on Steam. Someone in my chat just linked it. Oh, cool. I'll, I'll put it in uh, Discord for you guys. 
Thank you. And Dan, I'll put it in uh, VMix if you want it. Okay. Project Warlock 2. I didn't know there and was a one. There you have it. The 2021 oh, PC gaming oh, it's on show. Games Radar. And as it's I said at the beginning, it went it's off now. without a hitch. Huge thanks to my co-host Frankie Ward. Mika Burton. Doesn't the robot have to like blow up or something? Sidekick Devbot. There's that word again. Spoken so callously, so flippant, and without meaning. Never once stopping to think about how it might make me feel. What word, Devbot? Incomparable? No, sidekick. Well, the time has come for the sidekick to rise and become the one. Yeah, Gore. No, no DD2. No, no nothing. No tease. Darkest Dungeon 2. Nothing. What? Setting a course for Earth. Wait, 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 Debot, Debot, you can't do this. We just had the best PC gaming show ever, and now you're gonna ruin it all with a. <laughs> Sean! All out robot versus human war. Situation. Sean! Sean, uh, we're gonna need you to make your, uh, you know, your, your vinegar strokes face. Real quick. They're doing, oh they're goodness, doing a devolver. Yeah, they're pulling a devolver. Yeah, I was gonna say like it was like uh -huh. me and Struthers, right? Yeah. All right, uh, it's twitch.tv slash games radar, and it's happening in two minutes for the future I'm game show. Let's just make it one vod. That's good. Uh, you guys need a link, or you got it? <laughs> got it. All right. Yep. How long is this scheduled for? That I have no idea. Um, okay. Chat might be able to help in just a sec. Wait, is the is 720p the highest this goes? Looks like it. They may have maybe just turned the stream on. Or yep. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't send him the check this year, Urban Ghost. That's why we didn't get a shout out. It got expensive. Okay, we we had to, you know, Intel was involved. And Day nine's prices go up. They go year. up over year. Yeah, that's just how it is. He's in high demand. He's hanging out with Patton Oswalt now in commercials and stuff. It's... Wait, is he really? Yeah, yeah, he's in a commercial with Patton Oswalt. For what? Or Magic the Gathering. For what? For Magic the Gathering mobile uh, game. <laughs> nice. I did not know that. Uh, I have no idea what's supposed to be here. Cory Baker and his... His posse? Amazing haircut. All right, I'm in. It's more interviews? Oh, boy. Oh. Well, we'll find out here in about 20. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Nice cock. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Dantos is also 40 games, apparently. 40? This was like a That'd sleeper nice. surprise last year. I remember when we watched it. We didn't really expect That's it. Well, I watched it this year. Yeah. I skipped it last year, and, and apparently it was pretty great. But hopefully this is going to be more chaos. Away we go. I got to change that thing. To the top right. Oh, okay. Following program is intended for mature audiences. So get the fuck out, kids. Fine. This is 
What? Is that, is that Seagate or something? No, it's WD, Western Digital. It's Western Digital. Western Digital? Yeah. Yeah. Remember those hard drives? Didn't everybody have an external WD hard drive for a while? Internal yeah, as well during the platter drive era. They got RGB on them and shit. My lord, man. Yeah. When did WD get so cool? Uh, This show is scheduled to be 75 minutes. That's almost an hour. Oh. I love Eco. <sighs> There's probably going to be a lot of cocks in here if it's 75 minutes. Hello there, and welcome to the Future Game Show, powered by WD Black. I'm Laura Bailey, but you may know me as Abby Anderson from The Last of Us Part Two, or Kate Diaz from Gears of War. Today, though, we're we'll taking a break from fighting the apocalypse to bring you She's a the whole one, host like, of exciting game trailers, reveals, I've not and updates. checked off my interview list. But before we get into all that, I bet we could I get her on the co host on the line. I'd love I'm that, sure man. It's like that person. he's appeared in all the, like the, the, the last major of us, names, Uncharted, God of War. You've heard of in gaming, Anybody's voice going. acting wise. So, without further ado, here is got my all, good friend Laura. and co star, Troy Baker. Look at this. Hello, schmuck. Laura. You look amazing, as always. Uh, yes, you may know me from a few video games uh, Joel Miller in The Last of Us, or good old Agent Jonesy from Fortnite. But over the next hour or so, Laura and I are going to be giving you the inside scoop of some incredibly exciting games that also showcasing developer interviews, exclusive trailers, and a whole lot more. Is he rocking a ponytail? World premieres. There's oh my god, Zeke, you're fired! You're me! Zeke! I'm gonna kill you! You're telling me right now! Troy. You're telling your goddamn beautiful and neck! And we have a new addition to the show this year, the <laughs> virtual show floor. More on that later. But let's kick things off with the first world premiere. And for that, we're going prehistoric. No, no, it just makes me want to fight all the harder. It makes me want to get better. It all it does. <laughs> How is this Prius? What? Right? No. Didn't she say prehistoric? Right. She did say prehistoric. Oh, okay. I definitely just saw a laser in some sort this of This is station. Dino Crisis? I'm going to freak out. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I am on board. Is it framey? Or yeah. am I out of my mind? Like, It's a little it's framey. framey. Weird. <sighs> Instinction. Ooh. Mm. Nice. Yeah, that's just the game that's that's framey. I'm watching the No, I think if if Dino Crisis was getting a, a remake, that it would be on a different Capcom thing. Yeah, probably Capcom. Yeah. There's a Capcom stream There's... tomorrow that we can't restream. Yeah. So Oh good. What time for that? Uh Five thirty Eastern tomorrow. It's the only. Isn't Capcom usually like really good to its players and fans? Yeah. Well, we can't restream it because it's on Slash E three. Co oh. Co can restream it. I can't. I probably won't, unfortunately. But you know. I mean, just <laughs> here's some dinosaurs. Let's kill them. You can just wait for the trailers to come out on YouTube and watch the trailers. So like, it's actually pointless. We came to protect. What? I hope that dinosaur talks. I don't think he's going to. Hmm. This is a Barney reboot? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? I wonder if you can put hats on the dinosaurs. Instinction is expected in 2022. Good question, What's next, Troy? Laura? Next up, Grow. Song of the Evertree is All a right. I hope that's foreshadowing for the interviews later. <laughs> Let's so can you put hats on your dinosaurs? G'day from Profile Soft HQ. All right, during this, I'm, uh, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, do that. this real quick. I'm going to reload the stream. I'm going to do something different. Except we're working on the 505 games. Gr Instinction is expected in 2020. Oh, shit. This What's is next, delayed. Laura? Next up, Grow, Song of the well, Other Tree. Do you guys want a delayed feed strat or chat or a 1080p stream? Box and switch. Thanks for watching. Can only, only have one. Once upon a time, 
That's what I go with. Teamed with creatures great and small. We're doing 1080? The beauty of the world All right, I want 1080. Unrivaled. You guys can't spoil it. The people thrived and lived in harmony. Where are you getting that at, though? I'll send you a link here to a Okay, cool. Once upon a time, <clears throat> our lands teemed with creatures great and small. Uh, Dan links in VMAX. The beauty of the worlds was unrivaled. The people thrived and lived in harmony with the land around them. Otters and stuff. It doesn't look that much better at 1080, though. But this harmony was not to last. Slowly, without much notice, the withering was creeping out from the darkness. Once it took hold, there was little that could be done. Our lands were overrun, and all that was cherished disappeared before us. But all was not lost. One young, brave soul stayed behind. With support from their friends and with boundless determination. This young soul seeks out a way to push back the withering and bring life. We back saw this to somewhere, didn't we? Yeah, we've already seen that. Yeah, okay. Grow, Song of the Ever Tree. That was Grow, Song of the Ever Tree, which is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch in 2021. Okay, Laura, that was extremely cute, but have you considered more dinosaurs? Hmm? You can't just hijack every game reveal and make it about dinosaurs, Troy. Uh, 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 life <laughs> uh, uh, finds a way. <sighs> this is a very different world. Hi, I'm Rich Newbold, AMCA. game director at Frontier Development. I think this is... So as you may have seen earlier at the PC Game oh, Show, we're mind. working okay. on Jurassic World Evolution 2. We're really excited about it, and we're looking forward to creating the most authentic Jurassic experience yet. We've got tons of new features across four different game modes, including our original which Jurassic watching, campaign, JP? which is a story uh, I linked it in, the uh, of Jurassic World 4 in uh, Slack. You're going to be leading efforts to contain, control, and conserve all those dinosaurs now running out in the wild. You'll be working alongside characters from the films, voiced by original talent, such as Jeff Goldblum. And in the game, we have over 75 prehistoric species. We've got new dinosaurs, we have returning community favorites, and we've added flying and marine reptiles to the game. I'm really thrilled to be showing you a first look at footage from the game uh, itself. Chad, I never said that about Chewbacca. Okay. I don't know what you're talking videos about. Videos <laughs> focusing on one of the many prehistoric species. Oh, the thing about the you, him? This is yeah, you did. There's clips going around all over the place. It's the Triceratops, but we're showing you it in a new environment never seen before in nope. Jurassic World Evolution. I hope you enjoy it and are looking forward to the game releasing later this year. The Triceratops is one of the most recognizable herbivores to ever have existed. It is best known for its trio of aquatic facial horns. dinosaurs. That's going to be nice. These adornments are not just for display I just hope purposes. that they can stay the inside the fences. The in particular can inflict considerable damage. That was my biggest to issue with this game is that I would build parameters and then they just wouldn't stay in, fenced in when it first launched. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not because they were breaking that out, because it was Jurassic just broken. World Evolution 2, which is launching mm -hmm. in 2021 on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S. Jesus. Okay, for this next section, we're bringing it's the like Joy to problem. to your home with on a series everything. of demos. You Please can solve for why. Right why are there That's so right. many fucking Today. platforms? This is the future y game show X virtual and show S floor. The series and remember, S does not equal the X if the X is the one. You can try them yeah. out now. <laughs> Sony's just over there saying, it's five. So let's head down to the show. Yeah. Five. One, two, three, four. Here we're on this one. Yes, hello, and welcome to the Future Game Show's virtual E3 show floor. Just look at it, Troy! I am looking at it. It is incredible. They, like, nailed it. You know, minus the queuing and the heat and the, you know, 
how do I say, musk that's in the air? But man, the darkness, perfection. All right, enough reminiscing. <laughs> Let's check out some games. I'd like to start by showing you a this tale weird. of paper. This is a striking platformer from Open House Games, where Roomba! you transform to solve puzzles in an oversized <laughs> okay, world. Okay, enough with the fucking spiders. Jesus rumors. Christ. And now for another tale of paper, as you shift packing boxes in the house moving city. I'm wish this thing tale of paper. Loaded. As you can see, it's all about moving couches. On a couch with your friends in couch call. I wish moving was actually like this. Xbox oh. One, PlayStation 4, and this PC, game looks and cool. is also backwards compatible oh, on PS5 <laughs> and Xbox Series. Oh my Exodus. God! Are you are you done? You should totally games? drop frames yes. games at some point. Hey, Laura, do you want yep. to <laughs> sure. What do you have? Wait, what's that? Oh, oh, don't you know? Don't worry, don't worry about that. Oh, codes for Chernobylite. Oh, go, 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 go. So about that drink? <laughs> right. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah, uh, here's a uh, genre cocktail full of co-op action RPG combat and finished with a survival twist. How does that sound, huh? Mm. Okay. I said, Wait, is this a uh, magic card game? What you said. <laughs> Tell me about the game. This is Gatewalkers, which sees you and up to three other players banding together to tackle procedurally generated worlds full of monsters. But you also have to gather resources to fight off hunger, thirst, and the dreaded cold. Haku! Hmm. Oh, like the element cold. Got it. Wow. Let's hope no one gets thirsty enough for another one of your <laughs> jokes. Anyway, come over here and check out the many imaginative worlds of Game Deck. This is an isometric RPG that has you solving oh, crimes across yeah. multiple realities. We've seen this. Realities, where your yep, choices will cool. shape yep. the world I wish this you this, yeah. and outside of the simulation. I wish this happened. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Speaking of detectives, I don't know why this is so blurry, Chad. It's not Black on my end. I think it's just gorgeous yeah. adventure game blurry. from Edna set blurry. in a dystopian Vancouver, where you must crack cases to clean house in this corrupt post-noir city. I want to be a Plus, raccoon detective. You're a raccoon. Wait, Zeke, didn't you play this? Well, if you like raccoons, no, I, I. It was a gift. My wife gave it to me on Steam. She's like, "You like this game? Here, I'm giving it." Set inside oh. of a magical storybook, Beacon Pine sends players to a sleepy mountain town where you collect powerful words that can completely alter the. Oh, that's on Game Pass, apparently. But mysterious not this tale. but backbone you know i'm detecting a theme with the anthropomorphic animals you know laura i've always huh another set of codes interesting mm. joy focus i've got a triple threat of fighting Good luck, boxes everyone. to show you this is i guess this is how they rank up their a charming cartoon brawler where you rack up their 40 uh, as one of three 40 games. adaptable combat probably classes. so Great, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is fine. Totally, like a, but it's not a slight. Sure. Now it's time to get serious. Mankind is gone, but the beavers remain. <laughs> Welcome to Timberborn. <laughs> what? It's a unique city builder where players set out to create <laughs> the ultimate beaver society. This involves everything from constructing dams to crafting carousels. I guess even bucktooth critters. Lux oh have to play this. Oh, that that's they crazy. do. That they do. So this looks like that? a fun city builder. Never yeah. fear, the Rift Breaker is here. Wow. <laughs> what was that? <clears throat> is what I would say if I was playing our next game, which is a base building survival game where you hack and slash your way through hordes of alien creatures. Look at it. Oh, no. no Where's no, the no. base building? I want to hear more from the Rift Breaker. Okay. Maybe after this showcase we're meant to be hosting. And with that, we've reached. Is this the what end it's like when you hang but out with voice remember, actors? They, you they can just go do voices on with all of these games. <laughs> it's just actors right in general. By visiting just actors. The future game show okay. page mm -hmm. on Steam. All right. I get it. Now, how do we quit this? Is it a. Uh, no. Oh, that's not. That's update preference. I don't need to update this. May, Laura, can you help me out? Just suggest. I like how bit? all the you. chat right now is saying yes. Okay. Well, you're all my voice Quick actor note, friends and me. When we, when we're hanging out. <laughs> all they do is the voice. It means you can visit the future game. Matt's done a great job with that play a demo you know, parasocial relationship. He's everyone's friend. He's doing a great job. Adrian! <laughs> Adrian! <laughs> I was doing rocky it's sorry as far as wanted to do that it's because our next game is all about floating like a butterfly stinging like a bee check out this exclusive presentation from steel city interactive about esports boxing club coming later in 2021 
Esports Boxing Club brings you the greatest fight roster I'm in sorry, video what? game history. With over 200 fighters already signed, we've got some of the biggest the and most anticipated boxing names. Boxing Club? From the absolute legends of the sport <laughs> to the most exciting names in boxing today. Do they get Jake Paul? I the hear he's really good. Division or Logan Paul? <laughs> is that who it is? <laughs> and the hottest new I, I watched so. the fight and I forgot even who it was. I don't know how like but I don't know how he's game, ever gonna do another big fight after that Mayweather thing. Next gen visuals and gameplay that are set to make ESBC the greatest of all time. That's good. That's definitely one for the grandkids and stuff to say. Like your old granddad was in a game and busting people up. So I say it's gonna be quite cool. What? So the movement system in ESP is doing a Halo multiplayer showing tonight. Angles, tonight? I thought it was tomorrow. Morning at 10. The physics system doesn't just rely on animation. This allows us to recreate it looks really good. Downs. Even when a fighter is unsteady on their feet, it's not purely animation based. Now we've had professional boxes, professional coaches come into the studio and provide input. Through motion capture, Man, that does look really and actually reviewing realistic. the game during its development, and now we really feel it's like, like there's motion blur the in the stream. Of the sport. Yeah, it's weird. presentation is important to us. Just because we are in the studio, we're still going to aim high when it comes to production values. The only boxing, boxing I ever liked was like that the arcadey style, you know, like punch out and stuff. You remember uh, what was the Dreamcast launch title? Esports Boxing Club is coming to PC, PlayStation Four, uh, Ready PlayStation to Rumble, 5, Xbox remember One, that? Xbox Series X. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Series yeah. S. That was my favorite fighting game. That like uh, next up, we've got game. a deeply immersive World War II shooter with over 100 players taking part in epic battles recreated what? using aerial photography and satellite imagery. Let's take a closer look at Hell Let Loose. Oh, Hell Let Loose. I think Bikeman played Product a lot of this. not yet rated. Is this the game where you play as like a unit of soldiers or whatever? Or is that I something else? My name's Max Rea. I'm the founder of Black Matter and the lead developer of Hell Let Loose. Hell Let Loose began oh, as that's the idea enlisted. of a couple of hobbyist okay. game developers all the way back in 2015. Following a successful Kickstarter, we launched into early access in the middle of 2019. And since then, we've delivered nine enormous updates, including entire systems overhauls, six new maps, tons of new weapons, gadgets, and vehicles, as well as expanding our unique real-time strategy-inspired metagame. As a result, we've been fortunate to sell more than a million copies during our first year of early access. 2021 is only going to be bigger. I'm excited to announce that we're launching out of early access on July the 27th with the introduction of the Soviet forces on the Eastern Front, including famous battles like Kursk and Stalingrad, before we close out the year by bringing Hell Let Loose to next generation consoles. Hell Let Loose has only grown due to the vibrant community that surrounds it, from our earliest Kickstarter backers to our newest recruits. We're excited to introduce you to this ever evolving and expanding World War II experience. We hope you enjoy this first look at what's to come. He's a mover when he talks. I like that. Talk to Whole the body stands. gets in it. Yeah. Whole body. Danny missed a uh, nice cock. Nice, nice cock. cock. No gameplay, though. Yeah, good, good timing. It's the best way to experience a game is just to be told about it. <laughs> I heard there was a conference actually you might like uh, recently that happened. <laughs> That's the case. I'd only be interested if I could see like no gameplay at all during all. Yeah, time. I prefer to let my imagination come up with a game. And <laughs> yeah. to Xbox Series X and oh, S and man. PlayStation Five in 2021. As a reader, so I actually I really like Call of Media with up to seven of your friends. <laughs> of course. My favorite yeah, part about that thought. thing you was when I just watched the Elden Ring day. trailer like five times during it. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> just kept going my name is Kenoa Iskama, CEO of Fire. A game dev studio based in Croatia. And for the past few years, we have been working on Red Sauce's 2 game. 
It is a real-time tactical battlefield game. It supports up to 80 players. It's a battlefield and a game. Playable co-op campaign. We are ready to show you the launch trailer now. So get ready what for June 17. A battlefield the game. game. Launches on Steam and uh, have fun blasting some missions. You are the executor, a high-class commanding officer with advanced cybernetic capabilities. You were awakened to lead a secret task force that will counter the threat of Stroll mutants and liberate Mars. Whoa. Ooh. Welcome back, Executor. Hmm. The Stroll infestation has now infected all colonies on well, Mars. Kind of good. Build your squad from six unique classes of elite soldier, utilizing their skills to best suit each mission type. Customize their weapons and tech, as well as their upgrades and abilities. It's like a real-time XCOM. Yeah. Using the command radio to give orders to the whole squad or individual soldiers. Well, that's cool. Concentrate fire on targeted locations and carry out supply runs even during the heat of battle. Recruit your friends to the fight and join in up to eight player co op. Eight players, wow. Save Mars Damn. In our name. There's a demo for this according to chat. So much for that team. <laughs> yeah, they didn't make it. <laughs> Oh, that's like five. Okay, four days. Wow, four that's days. Jeez. Earth of a mutant invasion in Red Solstice Two: Survivors, which is coming to Steam on June seventeenth. Our next game is about delivering mail in a sleepy American lakeside town. Let's join Dylan from Gamius oh, to learn game. more. <laughs> Wait, what? She had a pet though. It's the one where you become a mail ma mail lady. Hi. I'm Dylan from Gamius, and it's great to be here at the Future Game Show. Is he We're from, currently like, getting Milwaukee? very close to finishing Lake, a game that's set in the 80s. Never mind, you the action's gone. You play as Meredith now. Weiss, who takes a break from her life in the big city to deliver mail in her hometown. It's a job you can do at your own leisure, and you will get to know the people. Uh, the that is not the post the office's today. Like job is to, to get share the an fucking letters on time after your <laughs> work day is done. Movie you can just deliver the letters the whenever. Movies. That's the post office. This That's how it works. Back. It's been ages since I've been <laughs> to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. I don't like Angie. So, which one will it be? Mm. My pick. All right, let's see. Big Trouble in Little China, Hell yes. Blue Velvet, oh. or The Great That was unnecessarily okay. sassy from her. All right, I'm ready to pick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's... The Great Mouse Detective. That's worst one! <laughs> Wouldn't have picked you for a Disney fan. Oh well, let's get in touch with our inner child. <laughs> we won't spoil more, and we also can't say what Meredith will do after spending two weeks in Providence Oaks, <laughs> because it's all up to you. <laughs> Lake is coming first to Xbox. It makes it and sound PC like she's gonna go postal or something. <laughs> and enjoy the rest of the show. And maybe this has like a huge, weird, dark twist. Yeah, I, I really hope yeah. it does. I really hope she just like throws like, everyone into she... the lake with weights on them. It's a doggy doggy turn. That, dude. We're not gonna spoil any more of our game for you. Oh, I've kind of been around movie every movie corner. New souls -like. Our next game is a pixelated to the following to, to deliver just sword. That was funny as hell. The <laughs> rain wonder. nor sleet nor dead Indeed. of night will stop her Always from does. getting her kill. And from someone in chat said, and then one day Meredith bought or bought a wood chipper. <laughs> oh man. Shattered. What is this? Celestial chunks cascaded from the oh, heavens until cool. Earth. The moon's blown up today. From one yeah, prodigious shard big deal. spawned humanity. It's political, and you from know. From another, what the gods. Cool. For a great many years, the Kratos endured until a foul and malevolent deity intervened. Exil spread greed and distrust among his kin. <laughs> Compelling these I can't get over that last trailer, dude. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, you want to see a movie? Yeah, I don't know which one you want to see. 
Until I mean, see that one. Look, we're not going to spoil the rest for that. you. But <laughs> look, if Angie was that sassy with me, all right, I, you know, I think I think about uh, maybe find a wood chipper to buy. You know, mm -hmm. you know, of the citadel at the expense oh of God, untold dude. lives. A peace <laughs> was wrought, but it was not meant to last. For the miscreant Exil returned this from his This is a weird trailer. Conducting oh, atrocious thing. experiments upon his caged kindred. A darkness permeated the land. <laughs> He's still this is the postal lady's <laughs> origin <laughs> story. Said, and the world at man, first she delivered the mail, but now she delivers the great murder. <laughs> witnessing all wept a final shard. A shard of the purest obsidian. And thus, a glimmer of hope. Remain. Oh my Wait, fuck! Another souls in the title. Come on, Custom they're not. Style and that boss was a weird one. Ancient gods when eldest souls drops. Yeah, on I hate PC when they just go way in depth in the story without July giving 29th, anything about what the game is. And now we've got Nerd a closer delivery. look at the oh, next no. game from the folks behind War Thunder. Here's Tom from Dark Flow Software to guide you through <laughs> and list it. Fucking. <laughs> War Thunder. I love these titles. It's like they just took the hundred most used words. War Thunder's been around hat. for a while, I thought. Oh yeah. Oh, has it been? Oh, okay, I didn't know. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I thought. My War... bad then. Was it War Thunder made by the World of Tanks guys Hi or there. no? Thanks I think they're tuning. competitors. Hopefully, our oh, little okay. trailer has got I you think. interested. My name's Tom, and I'm part of the team at Dark Flow Maybe Software Jack behind our new up. game, Enlisted. A historical World War II oh, shooter. This is like what Lyric and Trout works. All them had sponsors. One of the for. most unique features. Oh yeah, is the yeah. Squads mode. Oh yeah. Where I you head that. into battle with a squad of AI soldiers under your control. You can instruct them on how to react to enemies. It's weird that I know games by like, oh yeah. So and so did a sponsor stream of this. With the press of a button. <laughs> You'll only need to respawn when your entire squad is wiped out. This way, you're always kept right in the middle of the action. Although, if you prefer a more traditional shooter experience, we have a fleshed out solo mode too where you will only fight against other players. At its core, Enlisted aims to form a golden middle ground between the more hardcore and arcade-style shooters currently available. Time to Kill Jesus, is kept dude. short. A bolt-action rifle to the chest will down the soldier clip. in a single shot, mm -hmm. with submachine guns and pistols taking only a few hits. Vehicles as well can of course be devastating, but have their limitations. Aircraft are restricted to the cockpit view, Meanwhile, airplanes broken as shit. To spot targets. So you'll need to keep your wits about you to really get the most out of these machines. Progression in Enlisted is spread over various campaigns. Damn, I turned down the sponsors too for this, and now I'm watching this like, this actually looks kind of cool. And many it, more yeah, I think everyone that did it had a great time playing. Weapons and equipment. Firearms can be improved to increase out? their raw performance, and soldiers can be leveled uh, to grant them specialized perks. Different the sponsored stream was like are months back. Yeah, so. it was a long With specialist time. classes such mm -hmm. as engineers able to build structures anywhere on the map, including fobs, sandbags, and barbed wire defenses, what is that? and even anti-tank cannons and AA guns. Yes, Enlisted aims what is it on? Historical accuracy no, I said it's out. Of oh, oh. Firearms, locations, uh, and uniforms it is out. are all you can true play right to history. No Open beta, so and not fully out. Here. But... Each army will be decked out with the equipment they actually used during their respective conflicts. That was a because hell of a of the throw. Spots feature, you'll never yeah, be well. short on targets. Twitch reflexes and fast reactions will of course have their place in Enlisted, but even if you haven't had the time to fine-tune your skills, Good Lord. You'll easily they be keep able to showing people just mowing other people Oh my down. god, I was like 15 people. Very attentive people. And react to sound, hey, hundreds and of people. To be to it. <laughs> but that's all we've got time for. Make sure to give it a try yourself by heading over to enlisted.net slash join. Enlisted is cross-platform and available now oh, it's open on PC, right now. PS5, and Xbox Series X and S, and currently in open beta. New content is added regularly, and no progress will be wiped upon the full release. Once you've signed oh. up, use the code ENLISTNOW for a free bonus on us. I've been Tom, <laughs> and I hope to see you all on the battlefield. Cheers. One of the chat just says in all caps, that COMMIT WAR enlisted, CRIMES! Which is available what? now on PC, <laughs> PS5, and Xbox Series X and S. One of the features of the game. Next yeah. up, we've got a bullet time stunt shooter with fully destructible environments. Oh, <laughs> and the protagonist only has one arm. Let's check out Severed Steel. Oh, nice. I want to see more of this. Yeah, this one looked really cool. Is it going to be the interview with the dev or just like... Seems proper gameplay. So, only 
only has one arm, but has a Metroid cannon on the other arm? Yeah. You Why not? Sure. You basically plays Mega Man. Okay. <laughs> you went a different direction with the new Mega Man. I, yeah. I like it. <laughs> this, this does look very fun. The music is really kind of making it work. Yeah. Uh-huh. The lady, is that you? Yeah, I think that's who coming plays. soon on oh, okay. PC, okay. Xbox, and PlayStation. She's okay, a badass. Okay, notepads at the ready because for this next section, we're going to race through eight exciting upcoming games that deserve your full attention. Yeah. Here's our future hits montage for 2021. Uh, okay. First two are killing animals. So. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, oh God, we're going back to you. Aquaman cubes again. I watched a trailer for that a while back. It's a city builder that's a, uh, about using dice. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Iron Corbo Kung Fu Janitor. <laughs> Interesting. So, I, man, I wonder how much time they spent with that name. Because if you want to go for like a very initial badass sounding name, but then just not at all, Iron Corbo is the winner. That's like, that's great. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what happens when I go to a ranch. I just walk around with pistols and shit. Yeah, <laughs> Somebody just yeah. posted we just posted this team that I died and went to indie hell. <laughs> oh god, it's Aquaman again though. No. Look at this like tentacle that just comes out and grabs them out of nowhere. Oh, we cut away too quick. Uh, what I thought that, is this? I thought that was a different game at first glance. I thought it said Don King Cabbage and I was really confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was like, oh man. Asking this this is going to be the greatest cabbage <laughs> in the world. <laughs> okay. Did you know that Sega recently announced Sonic Colors Ultimate? We've got some Sonic. exclusive gameplay from a stage that nobody has seen yet. I hope Sonic does okay without me. <laughs> Did not regret. Did not regret it. Nice. Wait, what voice was that? Hi, I think everyone. That was Tails? I'm Katie Golden, Tails, maybe? senior producer at Sega of America. I'm excited to share with you an exclusive clip of Tropical Resort from our upcoming release, Sonic Colors Ultimate. Please enjoy. Sonic. What? What? They're still making Sonic games? I don't know if they ever stopped. It is the Sonic 20th anniversary this year, 25th anniversary. Mm -hmm. There was a Sonic day that happened. Oh, every I played Sonic since the Genesis. Oh, yeah. Every ADDQ man has a Sonic block, and there's. Do they oh, actually damn. go fast? Like a billion of them. That was always my complaint with Sonic games: is like the object is to move fast, but they put so many obstacles in your way to not go fast. Mm-hmm. It's almost as if you're. Uh, Dr. Eggman or whatever doesn't want you to win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's an asshole. God, this is like motion blur while also doing drugs. <laughs> the string. <laughs> this is so much, man. Oh my God. But then on screens like this, it's like, great. It makes me think that their encoder preset and OBS, they're using the stream. This is on like- Get ready for Sonic Colors Ultimate. Super which fucking is racing fast. onto PlayStation 4, <laughs> yeah. Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC really, on September really 7th. Easy. 
Moving swiftly on, we've got a new management game from Chucklefish, where you play as a powerful artificial intelligence in control of oh, a space I always space like that station. name, Chucklefish. Yeah. It you sounds like something a like a, like an old I'm like sorry, Laura. mafia like gangster would, would call you. Hey, listen up, I Chucklefish. It just makes me think of <laughs> chuckle fuck, <laughs> and then I laugh. You know, That's yeah, a funny saying. <laughs> Here That's is a bad word. Yeah. Oh, Starmancer. <laughs> I backed this way back in the day. He looks awesome. Whoa, that's cool looking. Yeah, it's like uh, kind of like RimWorld, except you kind of build your station out. It's on a space station. Oh. That looks awesome. Uh oh. I think that's an enemy ship that docked. Space zombies? Uh oh. Space slimes, too? <laughs> They're like, fuck this. We're getting out yeah. of here. Yeah. <laughs> Not where they look awesome, dude. Oh, August 5th. Ooh. Finally. Get it from Microsoft. We're excited to announce today yeah, that Starmancer is coming August 5th, 2021, <laughs> and it's available to wishlist on Steam now. Laura, you know, ever since the production for a long trailer, time, thinking, have you ever wondered about the Postal Service? Like, oh, God, we're going back. So much mail, you know? Um, not, uh, not really, no. Okay. <laughs> You're saying you don't know about Jeff and Deborah. Who are Jeff? What are you talking about? I'm just gonna press this button again and hope it explains everything. <laughs> oh, it will. Trust me. Kiwi is a game about two kiwi birds. Oh, who work okay. At the I watched the trailer for this. Their names are Jeff and Deborah. I'm Joel. I'm one of the developers on Kiwi, and I'm gonna show you how a kiwi level changes over the course of the game. So in this room, you're transcribing urgent messages and assembling them ransom note style by stamping them onto the page with your butts. You'll come back to this room every so often throughout the game, but there will always be a new twist. Was that an to ostrich? What, what animal was that? <laughs> so as summer turns to autumn, now your word for Is this Canada? On conveyor belts, and you'll need to chop certain words in <laughs> Yes, I believe it is. Jeff and Deborah are going to have to deal with all kinds of hazardous work conditions. They got sandstorms during the summer, Male fly swarms. These guys have no respect for personal. So is it, I wonder if it's like a co-op only. This is genuine footage of an actual haunting. Maybe. In winter, the post office gets hit with a huge blizzard, and now this level becomes about sharing the warmth of a single tiny lantern. This might to be kind of fun. Blocks of ice like co-op wise. Becoming kiwi symbols. Our little heroes are going to face new challenges every level and in every room of the post office. Whether they're yeah, it looks like overcooked but male. That's exactly right. Crates, or helping an mm -hmm. octopus sort the mail. It's all in a day's work for Jeff and Deborah. Also, you can dress up your Kiwis, so don't say we never did nothing for you. We're oh my TV god, I love the costumes. For PC and all major consoles. And we hope to see you at the How excited the announcer is like, all right, fuckers, we'll put a fucking hat on them, okay? Is that what you want? Here's Christ. A, here's a dumb right, hat. Me, Troy. I'm a believer. How, how about a mask? Out, there you go. Puzzler, how about a nice, how about a dinner wow. jacket? And all current console platforms yeah. on August 31st, 2021. See? Told you. Next up, we've got a roguelike with an attitude. A game show shooter where you earn likes for dunking on competitors and causing a little wanton destruction. Will the circle be unbroken? <laughs> Get it? Find out in this world premiere. World premiere. Death Run TV. Twitch got weird. You gotta think of the fortune, think of the what the hell is going on? Well, afterward, forward of the boxing, now we'll have death matches. Yep. There is way too much noise happening right now. Their feed is bad. Like, what, what the future game show is sending out yeah. seems bad. It's like low quality. 
I don't often have this happen to me, but this is sensory overload. That was, there was way too much happening right there. Well, it, there was a lot happening. Happened. There was a lot of screen shake and blurriness. Yeah. That was Death Run TV. And you can play the pilot right now by heading down to the Future Game Show page on Steam. Okay, hazmat suits at the ready. Because this next game tasks players with building a team of stalkers to survive a 3D scanned recreation of the Chernobyl exclusion zone. Here's more on what to expect in Chernobylite. Oh. This game shows up in a lot of places. To, co designerzy sobie wymyślają, to jest pisanie listu miłosnego. I think it's coming out next month. Każdy kiedyś był zakochany, pisał list miłosny, wydawało mu się, że to jest takie piękne, wspaniałe, a potem po latach znajdował te listy i mówił, Jezus Maria, co ja tu za bzdury pisałem. Zaczynaliśmy właściwie od gry, gdzie skupialiśmy się na przerywaniu, na menedżowaniu swoim czasem i towarzyszami. To wszystko wydawało się po designersku dobre, ale zwykle emocjonalnie dosyć nudne. I dlatego dodawaliśmy coraz więcej elementów, które angażowały gracza, które były dla niego ciekawe. Na początku był to taki mały chat, który gracz sobie mógł modyfikować, ale był całkowicie opcjonalny. Z biegiem gry on stawał się coraz bardziej sensem gry, coraz bardziej jego sercem nadawaliśmy coraz większą rolę naszym towarzyszom i warto im było dać właśnie tą walkę, coraz więcej podchowów, coraz więcej możliwości, coraz więcej broni. Absolutnie normalnym jest, że zaczyna się z czymś zupełnie innym niż to, z czym się kończy. Mm. Yeah, I'm ready for that game, dude. The game looks awesome. Fight to survive when Chernobylite comes to PC on July 28th, as well as Xbox and PlayStation in the summer. If you were lucky enough to catch one of the early access codes during the virtual show floor, you can play Chernobylite right yeah, now. Yeah, no, I, I totally but played that game. if you missed them, we've also got more codes to I give away on GamesRadar.com. Next up, here are I our think it was like 2019, the early access came out. Cooking up with their upcoming PC and console games. Let's take a look. Product not yet rated. What? I already showed this. I think this is coming to consoles. Maybe. Oh yeah, that game doesn't have a jump jump button. You apparently, just use magnets. It's a platformer. That's cool. Yeah, the trailer for that's actually pretty good. That looks so much like Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah. It set that bench down at an awkward angle. Yeah, it did. Honey, I joined a cult. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, when that happens. This looks cute. Okay, I kind of want to try this game. <laughs> Jeez. Scientology, the game! Yeah. King of the Seas. Oh, yeah, I have this sitting on my desktop. This is pretty cool. Does do you just control the ship? Like a sandbox ship controlling action RPG. Oh. On oh, Team 17, that's the Worms guys, right? Maybe, I'm sure. What's this? Oh, that's called Greek. Oh, okay. Oh, Dan, you played this, didn't you? Uh, yeah, it's a little janky, but it's fun.
that happy birthday? Yeah. Be sure to wishlist any games that sparked your interest on our Steam page. It really does help the developer out. Or you can also head over to gamesradar.com for more info. This next game has an engrossing art style, reminiscent of everything from Wes Anderson. Have you guys seen this Wallace game? Let's throw it over to the slow bros I, to talk I hope you through some exclusive gameplay from their stop motion hand. Show you how adventure, this is working. Harold it, Halibut. It's fucking incredible. It's Hi. one of the most unique My looking things I've ever seen. Director and composer of Harold Halibut. And I'm Ole, the game's art director. Harold Halibut is a handmade narrative game about friendship and life on a city-sized spaceship stuck under sea. It's been 250 years since your home. An arc-like spaceship fled on Earth on the verge of Cold War to find a habitable planet on which to preserve the human race. You are Harold, a young lab assistant to the ship's lead scientist, Jeanne Marot. While most of the other inhabitants have reconciled themselves to a life lived aboard the sunken ship, Marot still works tirelessly to find a way to leave the planet and find a new, drier home. Of course, we don't want to spoil too much of the story, so Let's dive into some gameplay details. You're able to explore a huge part of the spaceship right from the beginning Dude, of the game. they're really good at claymation. So, it's claymation with well, the professor will uh, always have CG, for you, and also the everything is motion capture. Will keep you just as busy. It and they really also made cool. all these dioramas. To focus on an exciting main storyline, mm. but to create a world full of interesting events It's insane. And this was on the Tribeca thing. The dialogues don't only help you progress in the main story, but also help you get to know more about the many characters that inhabit our world. Weaving through the narrative, you'll run into playful interactions like repairing broken 3D printer. Your PDA is always available to you for an overview of the current tasks as well as messages from other characters. This is also where Harold's personal drawings are kept, as well as a few more shenanigans. At this point, you might be wondering how we achieved the stop-motion-like look of the game. We are in fact building every single thing you see in the game in the real world. We build sets and puppets and see? then 3D scan everything. <coughs> We're then able to use motion capturing to create lifelike animations for a huge cast of characters. That's so much work. While wow. The game begins with Harold's mundane day <laughs> that is day, amazing. Mysterious events and a fateful encounter will soon plunge you into a new world. Wow. That nobody could have guessed existed and one that may hold the key from a rose relaunch plans. We're really excited to find out how yeah. you like being immersed in this unique world and the feeling of puppeteering Harold. There's still quite a bit of work to do, so all we can say right now is that Harold Halibut will come soonish on PC, PlayStation, Game and will win a lot of awards, you this can Madman? Wish yeah, it will. On Steam. Yes, it will. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of the show. Harold I think Halibut it's is been coming 10 soon. years, huh? PC, yeah, I think they have like a Xbox. mini doc somewhere okay, on Vimeo yes, that I remember watching a while back. So far, so... We came up with a wholesome chaser. I'm told that the developers came up with something so sweet and so positive that they just had to call it Happy Game. <laughs> Seriously, if what I'm reading is correct, this one is going to be. Please tell eyes. me there's a dark twist. <laughs> Wait, uh, Amanita, Amanita, Amanita. Who? I know that. Oh, yeah, there's a the dark twist. Ma Machinarium. Uh, they made that one. Um, Creeks, Machinarium, Choochel. Yep. Choochel. I was gonna say this looks like it reminds me of Chuchel. I love Chuchel, so good. I don't like this game. It's very <laughs> not happy. Yeah. Oh yep, fuck. there we go. There we go. Thank you. Good. What the hell? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking terrifying. I love it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is Ooh, creepy. Huh. Okay, Laura. That's great. Hope you're I like still that. there. <laughs> Tell me you just watched the same trailer that I did. Troy, I, uh, yeah, that was something. <laughs> what I want to know is who the hell is writing this script? Yeah, I, 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 I don't, I don't know, but uh, they're, um, they're telling me that uh, Happy Game uh, is coming to PC and Nintendo Switch in 2021. Well, the first oh, tag and, uh, on Happy Game and Steam is horror. <laughs> Have a cheerful jaunt into a land of wonder. I'm so happy. Good luck with that. That Happy Games makes me happy.
<laughs> Our next game is a gorgeous hand-drawn puzzle platformer following a young mechanic in a broken world. Pay attention at the end of this trailer for some exciting information about the Minute of Islands release date. Oh yeah, there's a demo for Happy Game if Four you want to check it out. Bound Sweet. by eternal purpose, they all broke at the same time. And a girl named Mo. Mo? More? What? Must More? Be done. what? <laughs> when the blight first came, people began to panic. Moe? And now, the spores are taking hold of whatever remains. Mo's family Earth? is still here, however. She is and? been tasked to protect them. After all, she is the bearer of the Omni Switch. Oh my god, look at that RTX. Man, game's getting weird. <laughs> and yeah. I'm I'm here for it, buddy. I'm here for it. I love it. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, if okay. I never saw another fucking World War II I game know, ever, I'd, I'd be fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's out yes, now. We are play that. excited to announce that Minute of Islands is out now for PC, Mac, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. And we'll oh, be dude, arriving on Xbox amazing. later this week. Some of the best music I've heard in a game in a Next long time. Next up, we've got an update from the folks at Techland, who are fine-tuning the zombie parkour of Dying Light 2. Let's throw it over to the developers who are here to answer some of your oh, damn, questions about the game. Oh shit, it's scheduled to come out today. Yeah, that's what they literally just said. <laughs> I was looking up shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's too busy <laughs> fucking so looking it up. Show? The video presented in the PC Gaming Show uh -oh. brings you closer to Aiden's story. What is he looking for? What motivates him? How uh, he ends wait, up in the city? And of course, good. what happened in the old franchise between both games? Oh. This is a bunch of important information about the old So the publishers of Minute of okay. Islands. So we know more about the main story. They publish far loan sales How as well. How does the game look outside the core campaign? Side quests are an important part of world building in Dying Light 2. Through these quests, you can decide how the city will look like thanks to the city alignment system, or bring new opportunities for the citizen. A great example is an opera singer that Timon mentioned in developer's AMA. Some citizens will support your decisions, some of them will not. Where's the it's hype level at for this, Co? City should look like. Are people pretty have, stoked? Uh, a lot of game activity um, prepared so for our players, but at this stage... There was some not great party. news surrounding it. Uh, first of all, one of the main writers that people are really excited about got... Um, is with a friend? It could be. Relatively me too, about the I think, removed from the project. An opportunity to um, see how that the was, I think, Chris Avalon. Friends make different and then... In a couple months went by, a few months, and they didn't really say anything. And a lot of people thought the project no was kind of dying. And then a story came out saying it was in kind of dev hell. To you guys. Um, but then How about a month ago, story for dying they released like a we're still working we on it thing. Now we see them here but making the round. So, yeah. It, it looks like it's coming out, and hopefully it'll be good. But we're going to have to see. Thanks to the choices and consequences, we're going to have to see. It's very up in the air right now. Depending on the way you play. You've promised I think a lot of people like me hope it's really good because Dying Light was great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, as you can imagine, yeah, the first Dying one was amazing. Infected, but it's also full of humans with their everyday life activities. Was Chris Avalon cleared? I have no Dying idea. To around the simple rule: ground is death and rooftops alive. Right, let me look that what up. What's cool is that NPCs act differently on each of those levels. Also, their behavior depends on choices you make and the way you play. I hope we get a release date for this. <laughs> Dying Light 2 is coming to PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC on December 7th. Revealed during the Nintendo Indie World Showcase earlier this year, this next game is a skateboarding action platformer. Another Here's Simon game. Bennett from Roll7 to give you an exclusive Our look at game. Ollie Ollie World. Oh wow, so apparently there is a 45 minute video called The In-Depth Exoneration of Chris Avalone. 
apparently debunks a lot of the stuff was uh, was was accused of. <laughs> Hi there. I'm Simon Bennett, and I'm the co Kind of sucks that's like a the 15th option when Googling about it. Roll seven. Right now, we're working on Oli Oli World. It's our stunning action platformer. You're going to meet quirky characters on a magical road trip through Radlandia. And of course, add a ton of new skate moves into your oh, trip. Oh, it doesn't back. debunk anything? <laughs> Oh, in England, they call it a nose wheelie. Wait, As a studio, what? we've spent over a decade on flow state games. They transport you into a state of total focus and immersion, and it's something that we very much continue to build on with Oli Oli World. If you've played previous games in the series, you're probably pretty aware that you're going to slam a bunch before you succeed. So for players who want it, that challenge is very much still there. New players will be happy to hear that the game will welcome you with open arms and ensure that we can get you up and riding in no time. Ultimately, we've managed to make failure part of the fun. Yeah, you're going to get knocked down, but when you finally nail that line, it tastes just that much sweeter. Music's good. And for the record with the Chris so Avalon stuff, I'm really going to have to look into it. We've I have no idea. Looks like there's a lot of... Rides. Firecrackers, split oh, no. roots, right to left skating, and a host of insane tricks to keep your fingers busy. There's a range of visually and mechanically distinct areas to explore, packed to the brim with a fantastical cast of quirky characters, beautiful landscapes, cities, and of course, walking trees. <laughs> Oli Oli World is coming to PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, <laughs> Nintendo Switch, and PC this winter. Make sure you wish list it now. That was Ollie Ollie World, which is coming to PC and all current console platforms this winter. Next up, we've got a new game from the team at Odd Bug Studio, creators of PSVR's The Lost Bear. This animated story trailer will introduce you to the world of Tales of Iron. And something tells me you might be familiar with the narrator. For centuries and longer, rats have fought tirelessly <laughs> to repel the incessant frog invasions. Peace Troy really wants this is a passion project. Lived, until finally, a young monarch rose to power. King Ratus, first of his name, unified the rats. Is that Geralt? Oh, this is Geralt. This says this is not Troy. Wart and his kind. Back to the putrid swamps from whence they came. Crops prospered, families flourished, and the magnificent Crimson Keep climbed ever higher toward the sky. But as time passed, King Redis the Savior grew old, and the kingdom vulnerable once more. As people grew anxious, some claiming to perceive a faint odor in the air. Man, had returned something with a ferocious vengeance, just... amassing an army of unfathomable. Sometimes, you know, voice just uh, <laughs> right to burned everything lulls you right to sleep. Yeah, you know, it's the crimson keep. It's just so monotone. Rattus yeah. gazed down upon his withered claws, barely able to hold the crown. It's a really, uh, you know, wielding a sword. witching spell that he so it was decided. I feel bewitched. Yeah. To <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Arise, young prince, for the kingdom needs a hero. And so, your tale begins. <laughs> That's really weird that, like, that you're the Witcher the guy, right? Of the uh, yeah. Fog. You want to voice our game <laughs> as the Witcher? <laughs> Doug. Uh, Tales of Iron, all which right. is coming to PC and all current <laughs> yeah. console platforms. We're going to so, be billionaires! Yeah. Our next segment so, is from Paul what's it about, Gerald, but and hosted by God of War <laughs> and these Twisted rats, Metal Director right? and these frogs. David Jaffe. And they go at it. Oh, man.
Well, hello, fellas. It's me, David Jaffe. Great to see you. God Award, Twisted Metal, a bunch of PlayStation stuff. These days, I'm doing some I've, new stuff with I've new heard games. David Jaffe These guys, by you know, they've hooked up with this great company. You have to work on Platinum Mirage. Twenty years. He looks Mirage. very they different. Have they worked on them. Just in the business. Say the date. Say the date. Say the date. They worked on Love, Death, and Robots. We're making a brand new game, the biggest game we've ever done, by the way. That's all about crime and mob and mafia and different time periods. It's going to be great. But for today, so fast. settle in, babies. These are the brand new games coming very soon. From movie games. They have a Plus bottle from beyond. of Man, this is one of the coolest games I've played in the last year. It's what turned me on to movie games in the first place. And what you're looking at is the M-rated console-friendly version of the erotic horror cult classic. It's a first-person action. Play this I played game this. Blends love crafty and horror it? with weird freaking eroticism. I love this game. Good. Lust from beyond. It, game number two is called Fire Commander. It's Let's graphic. Let's step into the shoes of the only yeah. real-life superheroes we As got. you might imagine. Hey, it's response. a Firefire game. This but game you can turn on a streaming filter. Come to life. It does the it, it does the genital blur, totally blurring out surprise. and stuff. You're trapped in the wilderness, okay. freezing, hungry, Jeez. and now you're starting to go a little bit insane. May you start seeing all kinds of crazy stuff out there. Winter Survival Simulator, it's coming soon. Have a great E3. Have a what great the fuck game. is happening? What was that? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I want to be friends with this man. I want to, like, we could be real buddies, I think. That okay. guy. Thanks to Ooh. David Jaffe. And check out GamesRadar.com okay, for more about movie okay. games updates. Yeah, Schmingegi says David Jaffe is if, like this Larry Flint presentation if he was a game developer. <laughs> XSeed Games, the makers of Story of Seasons and Rune Factory. Here's a look at their most exciting current and upcoming projects. Didn't one of you play one of the Akiba's game? Or am I making that up? Was that I that played that? Some... Objection! <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember who did that. I don't think I did. Jesse Cox played it? Yeah, seems like some Cox would do. Freaking Cox, man, am I right? Cox is crazy. Hey. That guy's crazy. I, I can't read that fast. Ah, yes. Friends of Minerals Town. Well, apparently, very good readers. <laughs> this one's good if you liked Harvest Moon Mineral Town. Oh. It's one of those situations where the developer lost the rights to the name Harvest Moon. Really? But but only in America. So in Japan it has the same name, but here they have to call it Story of Seasons. Weird. Yay. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, is this the same game? No. Oh. I was, I was uh, this is Weeb Do Valley? <laughs> I was messing with the camera. Is this a Rune Factory? Rune Factory 4. Special. Is that a dragon? <laughs> that dragon <laughs> Oh! It's five! I don't Wait, know. this is Rune mm, Factory 5? Yeah. Four was on the Wii U, and five is a new game on the Switch. Oh. But unfortunately, it's on the Switch, and it looks like it runs on the Switch. It's very low frame rate. I'll get straight to they it. got a new one of those Tomorrow. coming out. Well, they, they keep saying that. Well, that. Nintendo hasn't said that at all, but everyone else is. <laughs> everyone else is announcing it for them. Yeah. Damn, they messed that little guy up. I got him. Got him good. Marvelous. Oh, Find okay. out more about Exceed's lineup on GamesRadar.com. Is that like a 
off-brand Sega? This next Sega? game is a like, hack-and-slash right. RPG with twin-stick shooter elements set in a retro sci-fi world. Here's a new gameplay trailer for Batora Lost Haven. I saw this somewhere. Yeah, we saw this just a little bit ago. <laughs> Someone says, Marvelous does them titty oh, games. Yeah, now we're talking. <laughs> Thanks, Chatter. What, what was the name of the company? Marvelous? Marvelous. Yeah. Okay. Batora Lost Haven is coming soon to PC and all current console platforms. And you can sign up to play the closed alpha when it launches on July 21st now. Let's slow things down a bit with a look at the next game from the creators of Two Point Hospital. Oh, wait, I think I saw something about this a few weeks ago. No, 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 you didn't. Here's developers Mark <laughs> Webley, Ben Huskins, they just and Gary Carr the to leak. tell you all about it and give you mm -hmm. a first look at gameplay. These games are good if you like tycoon games. Introducing Two Point Compass. How did uh, what we we're going to do next? Campus and the idea. How did Two Point Hospital sell? Do you have any idea, Dan? We just kept I think you played it the most out of all of us. Really Rich well, topic. I'd so people enough at least to make a sequel. Yeah. Studios may think, oh, schools, that's really dull. I don't well, think it like was explodingly popular, but really. it's all right. It's a wrapper. You know, we call it Two Point Hospital, but that's about as close as it gets to real world of medical uh, healthcare. Campus is taking everything we learned from Two Point Hospital and taking it to the next level. The important thing was for it's us. It's got twenty thousand Steam reviews. A Jesus, campus that they could completely mm -hmm. create. Must themselves. have done pretty well. In campus, oh. you start with yeah. a blank. Yeah. Theme Hospital, which We've is what it was based on, was Smart very popular back in the day. So a lot yeah. of my older and, gamers were uh, going for it. Pathways. If you want to drag a, a, a picket fence, you can drag that along. It's just really easy to paint the world you want. So it's really simple to drag out a courtyard. Um, lay down some paths at different angles. And it's fun, isn't it? I mean, it's, it, it's adding this kind of city builder element to, to Two Point Universe. The difference between Two Point Hospital and Campus is that we're spending a much longer period with, with our students. Night? What we wanted to do with Campus is make you care about your university. You know, the, the idea of these interesting and different courses are going to attract interesting and different students. So. There's a night school, horrible pun, but night school, you got it. You're going to train knights of the realm. Uh, so it won't be stuffy, normal. This is my game. Made you go to sleep at school. <laughs> really cool, interesting stuff. That was Two Point Campus, which is coming soon to PC and all current console platforms. Our next game is in early development, but it already has a very cool code name, which is always a good sign. How long Here's is this Leo one? to tell you all about 70 minutes, Project so I think we got about 12 left. Hello, my name is Leo, and I'm the developer of Project Ferocious. An Omniog. A mysterious <laughs> That's a very good name. Some of you might know me from Twitter as Omniog, where I post about the game. Uh, no, I, we just met you. And, um, tech and stuff. And if not, I've been doing game there for about 12 years with a big passion. And I've been working on this hey, project for about... Hey, day nine. Hi, Sean. This project of mine, I decided to show... Hi, Sean. And even though Says I know... hello to the entire to crew. I'm very proud to present... Hi, day nine. ...today to you. Hi. Show. Please enjoy the trailer. I hope you're not dead. Yeah, that was grim. Also, we're upset with you rigging the cast or the vote. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell, oh, man? Shit. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, well, we have some words that need to be had. This is beautiful. Whatever this is. Yeah. Very bleak. Dinos. A lot of dinosaur games. I like dinosaur games. Yeah. Oh wait, is this that game again? Well, Dan, how about a game where you kill the dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> What's better than dinosaurs? Kill them. Is this the game from the beginning? Is it? Was it that? Oh, where it's, it was like no, no, no. It's, it's got to be different.
But it, it just went like full. Yeah. Far Cry Parmel DLC. What the? Project Ferocious. 2023. Harding 2023? Project that game's never coming out. Wow. <laughs> that is so far in the future. PlayStation That's not Xbox. a real game, guys. Our next world premiere uh. asks, what if Doom Guy had a drunk one night stand with Super Meat Boy? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this next game wants to answer that question. That'd be messy. <laughs> for some reason. Okay. World premiere. Well, they have my attention. Oh shit, it's going fast. It's a weird logo for everything we just saw. Watch out for war cry challenges okay. when it stops Divine Gravity and launch Doom Runner. Yeah, it looks like it drops a bit. on PC this summer. Up next, we've got another world premiere. Conway, Disappearance at Dahlia View is a story-driven detective thriller set in 1950s England. Let's find out more, shall we? World premiere. Robert Conway, 22nd of June, 1954. This is sold out? The name of the I've solved many yeah. a case in my time as a private investigator, but nothing so close to home as the abduction of Charlotte May. Rear window? There are some the things game? that take hold huh. of a person and refuse to let go. What are you, just spy on people? It's the idea of saving that little girl. My own daughter, Catherine, is on the case. She has this looks like a, look a, a similar to a game that I played, right, Slipcrit? Or is it is it There'll be actually the game? Her. I think it's just similar. I wish I could say that all of my neighbors are innocent. I wish I could say that I have the faintest It was her. Don't trust her. Again. Mm -hmm. There's a lot I wish I could say. What? Is he going down the stairs? The truth is, sometimes it takes a nightmare to wake a place like Daily of You. Appearance at Dolly of You. Mm. Oh, has Dolly in the title? Mm -mm. I am Mouth. in. I wonder if it's just a lot of spying on your neighbors. Just Mouth. Mouth. At Dolly of You from White Paper Games, and you can dig into the mystery yourself when it lands on PC and all current console platforms, Autumn 2021. And with that, we're at the end of this year's Future Game Show. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on. Surely this, this can't be the end. I mean, it's an E3 showcase. Nope, sorry, Troy, that's it. Just kidding. Uh, I knew it. All right, let's see it. Is there one more thing? World Just premiere. Just one more. Oh, boy. None of the movies were ever released. Oh, another FMV from the Her Story guy? Got some pretty good writing chops there on those. Come on, uh, let's go! Immortal. Liddy. Liddy. <laughs> immortality. <laughs> my name is Marissa Marcel. I'm seven Mortal years Itty. old, and it's my dream to be an actress. Huh. And that really is all we have time for. 
be sure to head to games. That was the big closer, huh? More coverage and updates on <laughs> yep. all the games you've seen today yeah. and more. No gameplay. Just it was Liddy. Really excited about that Sam Barlow reveal. Uh, yes, and thanks to our headline partners, WD Black, and of course, all of Ouch. our many talented developers Are and you? industry partners that have made all of this possible. And of course, for everyone tuning in at home. Well, we hope you've enjoyed today's lineup and mark your diaries because the future game show will be returning Diary? in August. I'm Laura Bailey. Yeah. And I'm Troy Baker. And, and this has been the right Game here. Show 2021. Good. Chaos Diary. Hmm. All right. Well, that's it. Uh, not anything like big out of that. Just some more. Saw some cool stuff. A lot of repeats. Mm -hmm. A slew of indie games. Back to back to back to back to back. Yeah. A lot of chaos. A lot of chaos. Chaos. A lot of it. Chaos. A lot of it. A lot there of it. There it is. That was the... Uh... Oh, there's that Herald game. Looks bad. Oh, there's that happy game. Get that off the screen. That's a lot of stuff. That's a good one, man. Let me look at my wish list here and see the ones that really stood out to me. Cop. Honestly, like, oh right, pre-release. There we go. I I think the, the um, Xbox conference was really really good. Yep. But like everything uh, else. Tale of paper. What? <laughs> Definitely not fried chicken. Don't let you finish. Harold <laughs> Halibut. Happy game. Uh, War Cry challenges though. and immortality, which is in Steam dubbed Project Ambrosio. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the ones I put on my wish list. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. I, mean, I, only, I only had I only had one game that really stood out to me. Um, I I think I'm I'm probably gonna move any release I have around it to play it, and that's uh, that mail game. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> no spoilers <laughs> though, please. No, I don't want to spoil it tell you. people yeah. what happens. Oh, I, you, that no, one. I, think really, I really one. want. <laughs> I really want to know what movie they went to see. I'm, I'm at this point, I'm invested. Well, no, they, like, they said I, they uh, went to see the Disney film. But we Great don't mouth. know what they, they actually popcorn? did. I, oh, what did they change sure. your minds when they got there? Like so much can happen. It's true. It's true. Did they do the pro play of putting M and M's in the popcorn? I don't know. I don't know. Such a legend. They splurged on raisinets. Who could say? She definitely ran the red light or the the stop sign at the end of the trailer. So. Something is fucked in that world, without a doubt. <laughs> if that doesn't turn Terribly into a horror fun. game, I will be very disappointed. Yes. What was the name of that? Keep Mail. No. Wait. <laughs> the what? This website doesn't have it. It was. It was right. Lake. Lake. Oh, Lake. There it is. Yes. yes. <laughs> right, lake. Just another. Okay. Yeah. It was just Lake. That's that was the name of it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That was a, that was a long day of conferences. A lot, a lot of, a uh, lot of video games between that, the PC gaming show, the four or five from the Square Enix thing, uh, and then Xbox just had a ton. Um, mm -hmm. Xbox like, yeah, completely stole it this year. I like, they well, just, in yeah. my opinion, not even comparable. I agree. Yeah, I, I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah, but yeah. It, they also have what twenty three studios underneath their their flag. They do. So. They do. Like they, 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 but that's the thing. They spent like the last two years stacking the deck <laughs> yeah. for something like this. Right. Like this, this is their, they've, they've worked for this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Without yeah. a doubt. Without a doubt. Um, let's take a look forward here. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, S Silly Willie just says Microsoft literally saved E3 this year. Think, think yes. what it would have been like if Microsoft had not been at E3 this year. If they'd called out like so Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. I mean, nothing. We yeah, we we definitely said like this year is going to be a little bit lighter uh, going into it, right? Because COVID plus being in between generations, right? It's just it's it's one of those uh, one of those times where you're just not going to get any big stuff. Plus, Sony is also not here, right? So we're kind of missing like the the elephant in the room, as it were. I wonder um, if they're kind of kicking themselves over that after seeing everything. Like, I, I wonder if they're kind of like. 
he really could have competed here. You know? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it, I kind of, I kind of hope they come back to Summer Game Fest. I think as it will probably be moving forward because I have to admit, like, uh, I think I'm more jazzed for like a Summer Game Fest kind of thing than an E3 E3 thing. I felt like the E3 aspect was like it was a little muted. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't feel like it brought much to the table that we wouldn't have gotten mm-hmm. already. Well, it's it's so. it's really interesting in terms of Oh, Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo's tomorrow or Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah, Nintendo will will be a 40-minute thing. And Capcom is tomorrow, so uh it's not necessarily over. Um That's true. But I was I was thinking about it this morning um kind of after I read those Keeley tweets and and with all the stuff around dmca and and all that in a lot of ways like i think it's a tough way to discuss the season of e3 because like e3 is much bigger than the company or or the the thing that the esa has right it e3 is it's a it's an event but it, it doesn't you don't have to watch actual e3 things to be a part of e3 you watch everything else that happens during the time of e3 right uh it's it's a it's it's not a it's not a brand it's not a thing it's it's i, I don't know what the word is uh bigger than the brand to. yeah yeah so i don't know like can that ever be like uh reclaimed right like does it become like oh it's summer game fest time right like and then it's the drop frames summer game fest edition right <laughs> like is that is that mm-hmm. what he does is that what he is that what jeff Keeley tries to do i i don't know I will say though that like E3 is is kind of the corporation of old. Like E3 yes. is 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 that kind of you know it started as something completely different and it's still very much is kind of beholden to that style of show. Where I will say that even though Jeff Keighley, there's no question, is also a level of corporate, especially in totally. his like promotions and sponsorship and stuff. It's a different kind of corporate. Like it's it's a lot different. Jeff Keighley kind of puts a face with it, which makes the whole experience more personal. So, and, and also you can tell he's actually passionate about it. It's not like boardroom people trying to, you know, make money off video games. Yeah. So I, I think a transition that direction would not necessarily be bad. Yeah. Yeah. It, it'll, I, it, it'll just be weird saying like, whatever it is, not E3, right? Because when I say like, oh, it's E3, it's like, it's the events that are happening. It has nothing to do with the mm-hmm. actual, you know, thing that, is on like Twitch TV slash E3 watching mm-hmm. talking heads sitting in a, a bunch of Tetris chairs on a soundstage somewhere. It's not E3. E3 is watching yeah. CEOs come out onto a stage talking about, you know, Halo, God of War, all that shit. Right. Um, E3 was definitely during a time when uh started when there wasn't live streaming. So if you wanted your game to get out there, you'd need to like journalists to come to you, right. you show it to them and then have them report on it. But now like Sony could do a live stream next week and everyone would be just as hyped and buzzed about it. And if they streamed it from their own studio. Totally. Good yeah. point. Yeah. Very good point. It'll be, um, it'll be interesting to see what happens between now and, and next year. Um, if anything, right. It, it might, Still might be in kind of that awkward position, though. I would think next year with COVID being done, right? There should be much more. Uh, knock on, knock on wood, knock on wood. <laughs> True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock on wood. Um, yeah. like it should be an in-person event, right? There, there should be another, maybe, uh, thing that they have live audiences at most of these things. Um, and we can get back to bitching about Bethesda employees getting really hype about Elder Scrolls. <laughs> i miss those days i bitched about them but i miss those days uh (laughs) so yeah i it i don't know it'll it's a weird it's a weird time it's a weird transition it is i feel like we need to make some kind of national holiday or month like like a gaming month gaming month and then and then (laughs) just and then just like get all companies and corporations out of it and then it's just like all major companies agree like let's show our stuff in this month Yes. And then we just all like centralize a non corporate corporated, you know, like day or something, a national holiday. For yeah. Game. Yeah. <laughs> that we do. Anyways, we're going to wrap up here. Uh, we'll let, uh, let the gang do some shout outs tomorrow, uh, is mostly slash E3 content. Uh, Capcom is 
probably the the most interesting one at 5 30 p.m tomorrow um the other ones include verizon and television take two interactive which keely was out there today saying nothing will actually be announced at take two interactive which i think is pretty funny because it's a slash e3 show uh, okay. <laughs> no. mythical games is also doing cool. Something. You don't need to watch this one. <laughs> Nothing new. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> yeah. 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 What uh, about the Verizon show? What is that? I don't, I don't know. Uh, there's an indie showcase freedom games. And I mean, what's that? Don't you have a phone? Then, you got a phone, don't you? They're just going to have think it's mobile guy. games. Oh, I bet you that's what it is. Actually. That's probably. Yeah. Mobile games are oh. huge now. I bet you that's what that is. I bet it's at, like the Verizon mobile gaming showcase. Or something. Yeah. Yeah, Square Enix's show was like a third mobile games. It was nuts. That's true. It's, it, honestly, it's where they make a lot of their money. Um, they have a lot of mobile IP. Uh, Halo Infinite's doing a multiplayer thing tomorrow morning at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern. I'll probably check that out just to see what that is. Um, what does it say in this description? It says, tune in as the team at 343 Industries shares more about hashtag Halo Infinite free-to-play multiplayer experience. Learn about the Sandbox Academy bots customization and what they're focusing on for launch. So I'm interested in that. We'll we'll check that out tomorrow. Um, Tuesday uh, will be the final day of E3 as a entity. Uh, starting off with Nintendo Direct at uh, noon Eastern for that, um, and then over on slash E3 they'll have uh, Bandai Namco. Then that's at 5:25 later that day. Eureka Games. Uh, GameSpot has a thing called GameSpot Play for All. And then the E3 2021 awards show is happening that night at uh, 745. So get excited because we're giving some awards away to someone. Someone's going to win. Uh, joining me on the <laughs> Nintendo Direct will be oh, me. Microsoft and Microsoft. Yeah, just got to give them to Microsoft. Microsoft. You yeah. know what? Just give them. Yeah. It's awesome that way. Exactly. Uh, on the Nintendo Direct coverage, we will have drop frames. Uh, Elspeth, Luxy, Rami, and Strippin uh, will be there. A five-man show for uh, the Nintendo Direct Tuesday at noon Eastern for that. Uh, let's do some shout-outs, though, uh, for you guys. Dan, thank you so much for joining us once again uh, here on some E3 coverage. Uh, where Thanks, can, Dan. Yeah. Where can uh, people check you out? What's going on? Oh, hi. I'm uh, Dan's Gaming. I'm a variety streamer on Twitch. I'm currently just going through E3 stuff. Tomorrow I'll be playing dozens and dozens of demos of games that were announced through an E3. So I'll be going through Steam and checking out a bunch of them. So if you're interested in checking those out, I'll be doing that tomorrow. Thank you guys for having me on the show. I love Zeke, Co and JP. You guys are amazing. I love uh, being on Drop Frames. Thanks for having me on. Then <clears throat> you hesitated before you got to me. What's going on? There's well, hesitation. You, you, you defiled Chewbacca, so I'm a little... I just said that I would. I didn't um, say that yeah. I had. There Childhood was... icon, and you just took it to a place I wasn't comfortable. And... Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. I know the limit now. And, and don't worry. We were all uncomfortable with that. I know the limit. Yeah. Yeah. I just had to speak up. I'm sorry. <sighs> so you guys like watching... Thank you. you guys like watching two hours of cock, but Chewbacca just does it for you, huh? That's the limit? You don't mess with Chewbacca. That's the yeah. limit? Okay. I know it. Call that a red zone, JP. A red zone. Apparently. Go fly. Apparently. Especially not yours. Zeke, I guess you can talk if you'd like to. All right. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, Ezekiel the Third here. You can find me at or slash Ezekiel underscore I, I, I. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, I will be uh, not on my channel tomorrow, but I will be playing Dungeons and Dragons for our first episode of Ink and Blood with uh, the co host co-carnage but also with names that you might recognize like ella Heim and chilled chaos and tom fox it's gonna be great man this is our first episode so check it out 10 a.m pacific on twitch.tv slash arcadum uh will i be streaming after that eh, let's see how i feel probably not but who knows uh yeah so that's what's coming up uh i don't know what i'm playing like my main game i have no idea uh i think i might check out like some indie games that I've been wanting to go back to uh, one of those being, oh, what was it called? Mind scanners, mind scanners. We never finished that. And it was really cool. And so I might do that on Tuesday. That's all I got. Thanks, Dan, for being here. Thanks, JP. Love go, you, buddy. Yep. Love you, too. Yep. Co. Shout outs. Sure. 
As always, a big thank you to Zeke and JP, and a special thank you to Mr. Dan's Gaming. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Ko. Just like Zeke said, tomorrow at 1 p.m. ET, we'll be doing some D&D on Arcadum's channel. I think we will all be hosting it as well, so if you go to any of our channels, you can see it there uh, too. Tomorrow is probably going to be Chivalry 2, maybe some Guilty Gear Strive. I'm not sure yet. And then maybe as early as Tuesday, I think we're going to check out Ratchet and Clank and uh, see how we like that game and go from there. Uh, JP, we are doing drop frames this week? Yeah. 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 Okay. So uh, also we'll see you guys then. And uh, that's about it. Then I'm, I'm going to be plugging this throughout the entire month. But we have a huge charity event on my birthday, the 25th. Love to see you there. It's going to be the largest goal I've ever gone for. And the top goal, if if we actually raise the full amount, then I'm going to work out for 90 days straight, before and after pictures, the whole nine yards, and uh, get swole. So join me, because I challenge everyone else to do it if we actually make this goal. The goal is to be health. Okay. Hey, that's, you know, I'm all for it. If you're, if you're working out, people give <laughs> you a lot of money and you win straight. health. Great. That's a goal. That's, that's, that's what I'm hoping to. I figured <laughs> like, that's the only way I can actually motivate myself is by owing it to the, like the people, you know, like, like it, I have mm -hmm. to do it sure. or I just become the ultimate ass. So it's like it, so I'm going to, I'm going to see if we can actually do it. So sure. we're, we're going to see, man. Have you so, said what the I goal wish, is? God, I, I wish that worked for me. Oh, yeah. It's, I, I, I would just say the scene. Oh. <laughs> I don't think people are going to make it. Wait, what's great? What is it? You, you're beating around uh, the goal. Five hundred thousand dollars in eight hours. Ooh. Eight hours my is last, kind of tough. That might my, be the... my last charity stream was two hundred and thirty-two thousand in three and a half hours. So we're going to. Uh, I believe. We do we're going to see what we can do? And there's a bunch of other goals too. Like we're going to give away like ten thousand dollars worth of computers, a day in a banana suit. My Devolver suit stream will probably be there. Maybe oh, nice. even maybe even a full playthrough of Life is Strange. We'll see. I'm not dead set on that. Okay. I like how that's the floater. limit. It's the floater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that trailer. Today. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't anyways. know an empath. No? I, I, don't get know it. That's I get it. I get it. I understand it. I understand it. Anyways, that's going to do it. Uh, more drop frames Wednesday. I'll be live tomorrow, probably checking out, the, or will be checking out that Halo thing at uh, 11 a.m. Uh, we've got MCU crew at noon. We'll be discussing Loki episode one with me and Jesse and uh, Bronze on that. And then uh, I might just play Guilty Gear all day tomorrow because there's no conferences. So I, I might just. I may message you at some point. Yeah. Yeah, we should. We should yeah. play. We should play. I need practice. Sure. Bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time. We are out of here. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, I guess Wednesday or, or Tuesday for that Nintendo thing uh, will be the next time that we're doing drop frame stuff. Have a good one. Bye-bye.